all right hello everybody hello happy today's wednesday wednesday april 10th oh my god it's almost tax day i have to do my taxes soon that's right time to justify to the irs pretty soon all the money i spent on tft aka like a hundred dollars i actually don't spend that much money on tft i mean a hundred dollars is actually pretty good for the year i actually think it's pretty good the fact that i only spent a hundred dollars so that's entirely reasonable for a hobby or basically like a, a job because quite quite honestly tft is uh more than just a hobby it's more than a passion it's also uh, something i do for uh, financial uh support as well as my main job so he got me three first in a row however as Frodan said if you don't hit early you are dead yes yes i had a game where i roll i had uh zoe pair zyra pair riven pair soraka pair Jana pair i rolled i only hit two of those pairs i rolled down to 10 gold from like 60. i only hit two of those pairs uncontested and um uh, i eventually hit at like four five or six but i already lost way too much i lost like 45 hp and i died so it's just like it doesn't matter how good my spot was i had like perfect items and everything perfect items perfect augments it doesn't matter uh when 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 things get online you just take chain losses you lose to the yone two then you lose to the uh the ghostly player who hit like a three-star center then you lose to a faded player then you then the kaisa gets online you just you just you just chain lose you just can't uh you just can't recover so it's sad because i think the comp is actually pretty good but uh you just it's it, you just need a hit you just need a hit no, no no it's not a c tier it's just it's i think bottom of a tier top of b tier is correct it's just you can't play it's it's just you can't play it as often as you as you would want to play other comps like you can play yone every game you can't play this every game you can't play all right so today we're gonna uh we're gonna watch the cn huya cup huya cup is just part of their qualifying circuit their tournaments have officially started and the huya cup is where all the really good players play you can see there's chi2 uh there's um uh tian long there's c Juan Mays on uh, Huya, as you guys know. Many other good players. Ice is on Huya. Kudz, uh, uh, Kudz is on Doyu. Uh, there's there's a lot of really... Wait, is it, is it Huya? There's a lot of good players on Huya. Huya's like their streaming platforms, Twitch. Uh, they're having Group C and D. They got their B patch. Yesterday was their game. This happened about 12 hours ago. This happened about 12 hours ago. Do you think Kais needs a healing item? No, she does not. But sometimes healing can be good. Sometimes healing can be good. All right, let's go ahead and watch. Uh, I usually go top left, so um, what about Dean Milk? You don't stream this early? I know, I know. I uh, it's because I've been really busy at work. Our game is launching for Light Fox, so I've just been busier at work. So usually I stream earlier on Wednesdays, but uh, past few weeks, past month and a half or so, we've been ramping up work, so it's been harder. Okay, let me do Huya Cup Group C. Can you guys hear? So we got some uh, really good players. Uh, there's Tian Long, there's Bai Long. These are good ladder players, for example. A couple of people I don't know. I don't know who Mu 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 is. This, 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 his uh, username is Mu Mu Mu. <laughs> don't know. Uh, but there's some good players here for sure. Uh, Group C, game one of. I think they play five games. I don't want to portal up. All right. Um, Juan May I believe is playing as well. But let's go ahead and just hop into the first game. Okay, uh, hopefully the VODs stay up. Looks like it's lagging a little bit. I might have to do 720p. 1080p is not cooperating very well right now. <clears throat> is the game you're working on a mobile game? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's called Rumble Club. It launches in like two weeks. It launches in like two weeks. Dude, what's going on? Should I refresh it? Try to refresh. Sometimes, it, sometimes the free refresh works. One oh seven twenty. Like it, it could be one of those things where 
kind of throttles whoever's like watching from outside. Okay. All right. So far, it's stable. We'll just uh, chill here for a bit. Can you not download the VOD? Oh, uh, they they changed something recently. Used I used to be able to use an extension to download it, but uh, they recently changed it, and so I, I I can't like find the link to download it. Um, I don't know. That there's a, I don't think I don't think there's an option to download it either, based off uh, the websites. It does not look like it. There is no. Oh wait. Oh, this is download the app. Wait, can I download? Okay. This is Shadzai, which is means which means download. So, ah, uh, maybe maybe I can actually. I'm not sure. I actually never explored that option. I used to use like an extension to uh to get it. What a face! How you doing, buddy? Let me see if I can get these players' names translated because I can't uh, actually translate all their names. This looks like Wu Tai Zhuan Lo or something like that, which uh, means I'm too something, which I think he means I'm too strong. I, let me look and see if it's. Uh, if we have the player names. No, all we have is just the information of the tournament itself. Looks like we haven't filled out all the tournament information yet on Liquipedia. All right. Ooh, prismatic start. Prismatic start. Uh, this looks like three champions start, right? Three port champions, three champs. Prismatic ticket. Buried treasures. New recruit. I personally think buried treasures are still really good. Helps you get it just basically helps determine your game plan since he has a vest if he gets a bow he can make titans i don't know if steadfast hard's a good enough slam though especially on his board we'll see okay stationary support q cone and lockets really good for duelist his, his setup for duelist is really good really really good locket q cone half of uh half of titans and bloodthirster I'll check out Rumble Club. It's similar to other Light Fox games, Knight's Edge. Uh, is it similar? It's it's different. Knight's Edge is more more mid core, like people who like to raid and work in teams and everything like that, and and level up your gear. Uh, the way I always describe Knight's Edge is just like a raiding a three v three raiding game, dungeon crawler raiding game. Uh, Rumble Club is a physics based battle royale. That's kind of like. Fall guys, but you get to punch your opponents and play a bunch of fun game types there. Game Fall guys like had you run to the finish line. Rumble Club just allows you to actually, uh, to actually fight each other and just have fun with it. It's um some some of the play some of the streamers from OTK have been checking it out. Okay, we got Trash to Treasure, Eternal Winter Vest, we got Gambler's Blade and Eternal Winter. That's pretty good so far. Eternal Winter is just really good right now in the metagame. Still hasn't changed the fact that uh, it's a lot of units want attack speed and slowing it down is really huge. Not nearly as powerful against like Yone, but sometimes you just have to slow Yone down a little bit and that, that's all you need to win. Can we sail each other? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Honestly, if you just go and look, look up Rumble Club on YouTube, you'll see. People don't know what we're talking about. It's uh, my company's game that's launching. Uh, Rumbleclub.gg. We're launching on April 23rd. It's partially why I've been a little bit busier. My streaming hours have been shorter because I've been trying to make sure this launch goes correctly. Um, and it's just like punchy combat. It's like very cute, very fun arena-based physics or physics-based arena battle royale combat. Very silly, very casual. Fast games, fast games. Every game is supposed to be like three to five minutes on your phone. Or uh, or PC, or PC. Yes, this is this is my job. This is my job. This is what I do. My my weekday job. TFT is what I do after I finish that. Okay, we got faded warden and behemoth. What? Isn't that insane? Because the, the dummy the dummy itself gets faded, so it it gets like a bunch of shield and in resistances. That's kind of nuts. 
get thresh and set and that linking and that dummy is gonna tank like 4k damage out of nowhere did you come with these taglines uh they had some of them went before i joined rumble club was being made for about four months before i joined so they had some of them but i came up with a few of them yeah. <clears throat> Dude, these Chinese casters barely talk over the game. <laughs> I'm like listening to see if they're saying anything. They're just not saying anything, man. Spat. Loving TFT Academy, but have you guys considered increasing readability on the tip section of the comps? I knew there's usually a blank space under the tip box. Sometimes the text feels clutter. I mean, part of the issue is we simultaneously want to give a lot of help and tips and also not overtype. I don't, uh, the thing is you're saying like there's empty space. Yeah. There's a lot of empty space around different parts. It's, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That, that's probably where we're going to put ads because, <laughs> uh, the website is starting to get pretty costly. Oh wait, we reforged again and we got double tricksters glass. Oh God. So yeah, we're, we uh instead of instead of having like like ads where it looks ugly on the main page, maybe it'd be like when you open up a comp, there's like a, a small ad or something like that. I'm not sure. We have to, we have to figure out some way to get ads in because the the website is it's a good problem, but it's too popular right now relative to our our, our hosting stuff. So we have to constantly migrate it and upgrade our plan. And uh, right now it's just me just open kite paying out of pocket for it. So why no ads real time i mean it's probably because we like we want to make sure this is not even our base client core product that we originally wanted like we wanted all this done at set launch but uh as we quickly discovered it's hard to make a good website it really is because it just it just takes time and you need a good team and you need a good iteration and you could do it fast but there might be a lot of bugs and we started working on this months ago hoping we would get everything ready by set 11 launch so it's like one of those things where like Kind of feels bad to like ask for money if it's not even like by our standards like at a good enough spot but uh the answer to that is like soon but, yeah. and another oh this guy's still playing fortune i've been trying to play a little bit more fortune i go bot four a lot with it but uh it's the most fun way in my opinion to play the patch i like playing fortune this patch I like doing two. I like playing Fortune into Kaisa. I think it's very fun. I like playing AP reroll, but you low roll, you're dead. And I like playing uh, some of the uncontested weird rerolls. Like I like playing Shen and Yorick and uh, other hero augments like that. I think that's the most fun parts of the patch. I also played this crazy ass game today where I had three Porcelain emblems and two Arcanus emblems, and I couldn't find an Alawi. If I had an Alawi, I would have eight Arcanus. If I found a one allow, I'd have eight Arcanists, six porcelain. I couldn't find it. I, could, I couldn't find a single allow. That's crazy. Do you need more devs? I'm graduating without a job. I might have time to help out. Uh, hit me. Uh, message. Uh, message me on Discord. Engine, maybe. With your nine to five TFT content, TFT Academy. How do you have time to relax and doom scroll? And what about your wife and kids? Just curious about work life balance. Oh yeah. Uh, the the answer is I don't really have a social life and I don't do anything besides what you guys see like i do my nine to five um except it's part-time it's 25 hours a week instead of 40. and then i do about 40 hours of tft a week so about 65. and then i do a little bit of things outside of tft that's tft related like the website for example and then every other minute is spent with my family so i don't have real i don't really have what you call uh, a social life <laughs> I'm about to see, I'm going to go see Bryce next week. And that's like the, the only friend that I've seen in Seattle for like three months. <laughs> uh, but like, but like I stay in contact with people. I just don't hang out with them IRL, if that makes sense. I don't hang out with them. Not, not because I don't want to, just because it's, I just, there's, there's just, there's not enough time, man. There's a lot to do. Zimzo, thank you so much for the tier one. I don't know why it didn't show up. Uh, 
should have showed up. I'm not sure what's going on. My bad. Well, at least you're rich. Oh, I, I'm not really that rich. I'm not, I'm not poor, but I'm not rich. I'm like right there. I'm do. I'm. I'm. I have enough to pay the bills, and I have enough to save a little bit of money. But I, truth be told, take a lot of the money that I have and I reinvest it into stuff. Like uh, everything, all this co-stream stuff. I mean, I actually have a, a Excel sheet for it. And I'm getting more dogged again. I spent around seventeen thousand dollars on co-stream stuff, from tech to paying people uh, for services like graphics, my producer, um, to uh, other things related that are cost that you don't really think about. Anyways, that's that's, that's a lot of a lot of my profit uh, goes into that. Oh my god, this guy took Recombob. He hit. He has, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy has a Mumu 2, a Filios 2, Ash out of nowhere? Wait, what? What? How did this guy do that? Okay, surely Ash from, uh, is, is not that bad from this spot. I mean, he has a Filios 2. It's not even Ash. It has to be kind of good. Pures, thank you. Did it work? I feel like it did. My alert box. I don't know. I, I, could, I could refresh it, but did it work? It worked. All right, thank you. Are they cash saying anything interesting? Oh, I I, I kind of turned it a little bit lower because I can't really can't really hear them. They're barely saying anything. So. How is recombobulated the play? I mean, it depends on it depends a lot on whether or not he feels like one his silver options are good, and two if the recombob is generally good. And there's a lot of three costs you could have hit that could have actually been pretty decent. They just happened to hit some really good ones. Faded emblem times two. So we have two faded emblems. We have seven faded at level six. How is that legal, man? We have seven faded at six. Also, we're pairing Ari instead of like a Yasuo. I guess we're, he feels like we have no damage, but the reality is our frontline sucks. Oh. I don't know about that. He paired he paired Ari. He must have forgot. He must have forgot. He must have forgot. He needs one more for 10. Yeah, and here's the thing. Here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. He doesn't even need to get to level 10. Usually, usually when you when you need when you play 10 faded, you need to get to level 10. But when you have a wandering trainer, that counts as a unit, so you can get it at nine. And that dummy counts as the tenth. So usually you're like, okay, well, even if they have 10 faded, they have to get to 10. That's just not gonna happen for a very long time. They're gonna get it to they're gonna get it at nine. That's what's so insane. If you think about it, nine faded at level nine, but the dummy counts as the ten, so it's ten. <laughs> this is something that was happening a lot in set ten remix rumble. When you needed ten pentakill or ten KDA, you got it at level nine really often. This was back when we were doing wandering trainers. So. Trash to treasure again. He had, he got two uh tra he got two tricksters glasses. He reforged one of them. Turned into what looks like to be a mogul's mail. Fine vintage. Fine vintage. A uh, three two. Fine vintage. Do you guys like fine vintage Yoni or fine vintage duelist better? Right now, uh, most people agree that fine vintage is actually best played in just Yone. I mean, pretty much all all roads lead to Yone, and if not Yone, then duelist. But. Uh, What up, man toast? I love Yone. Good for you. Good for you. <clears throat> I hope it works out between the two of you. I hope you two are really happy together. Me and Yone, we're not cool anymore. Me and Yone, we're not cool anymore. I played a game where I had Yone pair. And I, was, and I had Yone pair in stage two. And I hit Gargantuan Resolve. And I was like, this is great. I'm going to hit Yone two. Free top four. Didn't find Yone for the rest of the game. I was stuck on Yone one the entire game. The entire... I died. I died in eighth place. I, just, I literally had Yone pair the entire game. So me and Yone are not cool anymore. I just, I just went eighth. <laughs> like, you're never going to... No matter how good you think Yone is... Like this guy. 
He's stuck on Yone Pair. This is me. If, if he just never hits Yone 2, he's just dead. It doesn't matter. My setup was godlike. It was actually godlike. Find Vintage Tiny but Deadly. Looks like it's more angling towards Yone because he has the Kindred 2 on the bench. And if he gets a really good Yone uh, support item like Aegis or Locket. Do you guys like Aegis? Do you guys like Locket or Zeke's better for Yone? Probably, probably Locket. More durability for Yone is good so he can ramp up. I think I like that a little bit better. Although... Let's be real. The the re, the real sauce of Yone is when you start stacking like three Aegises, or you start to you, or you have like Shroud and Zephyr. A good Yone player who gets good support items is actually so scary because usually you have all these different things that you're just not used to Yone player having because they have Banshees, they have Shroud, they have Zephyr. And so they take out your corn. They take out the carry that's trying to target Yone like a Kaisa. Oh, this guy has Yone too, like a beast. Uh, they take out your corner carry that's trying to snipe it like a, like a Kaisa. They shroud whoever is trying to mana reeve or target the Yone as well. Like let's say you have Soraka in the top center, and you're like, sweet, I'll just like AOE mana reeve them. They shroud you right back. You have you have CC. You're like, okay, maybe like you know I'll have other units run in and grab Yone or like like cc him nope wait this guy hit set this guy took recombob at three two and hit set at seven man china's so good look at look at this by the way zyra last whisper ie very clearly a kaisa setup but uh using zyra as the ad holder interesting Yesterday, I beat a Giga Wind Shrieking Wandering Trainer. The only player was 7 faded was Sandra. I used my duplicator to deny them came 3. Wow. Wow. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. Wow, that came out really sarcastic. Uh, but I'm not going to try again. But just uh, know that it didn't mean to come out so uh, patronizing. <laughs> Good job. <clears throat> Heroic Grab Bag. So he's trying to go for Aphelios 3. Oh, this guy, wait a second. This guy has Silas 2. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This guy cooking. He's got Silas 2, Titans, Titans, BT. All right. All right. Heavenly Silas. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, so he's like, you know what? I can't hit Yone 2. Let me go for Silas. This guy took Portable Forge at 4 2. It's been a hot minute since I've done that. I feel like Portable Forge has such a high chance of missing, but maybe he didn't have better option. Kaisa 2. I.E. Last Whisper. Wow, we are getting thrashed. I do not think this Portable Forge is a very good choice. I'm not entirely sure what his game plan is. He's contested faded. We might see a guy with two fade emblems go away. Hmm. Isn't Sintra bug with mana saying? Oh, I, have, I actually don't know. Wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. Okay, Kane gives you Deathblade and Death Cap. Deathblade onto, I guess, Sivir. Death Cap on Teemo. You know what? Double Teemo items. How about that? A Moo Moo 3 and a Philios 3. Wow. <laughs> also, kind of punished for putting a bow here. Kind of punished for putting a bow here. It, it, it's small things like this where you have to be really, really careful about encounters. If you slam an extra component, there's a lot of encounters that give you full items. So he, he would much rather have Deathman on this Aphelios. That's, that's a punish. You got to be careful about doing stuff like that. It's not like a, it's not like the end of the world. He's 61 HP. It's just if he loses his streak and ends up being a death blade on a Filios diff, you're just gonna be mad at yourself. He has two removers. That is true, but then he, but then he'd be admitting that he made a mistake. 
And he won anyway, see? So he saved the remover. You can't show weakness. You can't show weakness. <laughs> I saw someone go find Vince's Story Weaver. Stack Zeke and Chow's blue KYP secret check. Oh, that's actually uh, something that we did. That was one of the first builds we did with Find Vintage. But that was very early in the set, and I think maybe people have forgotten about it. That was like on PBE when we played Find Vintage. A lot of people played Randuin's Aegis on uh, on KO, and they played Red KO. Now it might be Blue KO. So I can see that still being good. The reality is Find Vintage is just a really good augment, and you don't have to play the ZZ Rots version of it. The ZZ Rot version of it is just one of the highest ceilings, but you can also just play Fine Vintage in a lot of other comps, like Fine Vintage in Yone. Because if you think about it, what is Yone even trying to do? Yone is trying to 1v9 and break everyone's keyboards through the monitor by having 20 items. You have three item Yone plus three combat augments plus all the heavenly traits plus uh, support items. You know, plus encounters and other things like that. It's just like this Yone just becomes immortal. So, uh, Fine Vintage just kind of leans into that. It's like, well, yeah, like, how about like three more Aegis and a Locket and a Shroud to support him and a Zephyr to disable the enemy and a Banshees and, um, I don't know. Maybe a, a back massage while you're at it. A monkey with uh, with palm leaves just waving you. Because, you know, you sweat really hard for that Yone 3. You worked up a, a good sweat, so... Gotta cool off, you know? <clears throat> a four trick shot, four bruisers. I mean, this is, a, this is the... The biggest problem with this patch is that... There are more four cost builds for you to keep up with reroll. There are four cost units you can play. It's just the the tempo that you have you have to be a full stage ahead of reroll, which is just not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. When I say a full stage ahead of reroll, like reroll gets online at four one, you have to have two star four costs at four one to even potentially keep up with them. And that's if that's if you hit like Ash two and Lilia too, and all that other stuff. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Pogo business. Pie hat. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you for the 14 months. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope you're doing well. You know, Pie hat, what if one day I work on my Spanish and get so good at Spanish TFT that I that I join you on the co-stream for, for lab time? Okay, it's probably not going to happen, but it's just, it's fun to think about. Fun to think about. I un, un campeón de Pago. <laughs> you guys remember when, uh, when, when Pago was Moshers from last set? Oh, we just have an Udir on the bench. We're ready to go to nine. We have Kaisa two. Everything is looking Gucci. Seven faded Orn two. Syndra with Manazane. Are we sending red buff on Syndra? Uh, that does not feel good. Kindred. I've seen more of this. Kindred three and faded. Let's let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see if uh, Kindred reroll and faded can work. I've seen a couple of people try it. I've seen a couple people like barely top four on CN ladder. Senna three ghostly. Mm. Mm. You just read the traits and laugh. I mean, yeah. Like I was like, what one one player accidentally took out his four reapers, and and he he had he had trace segadors, and I was like, oh no. No, tres segadores. <laughs> that's all I was saying. <clears throat> that's that's the limit of my Spanish uh, commentary. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, we're living, we're living. Four behemoths, seven faded. I mean, 
We're still playing Thresh plus Ari. Do you guys think this is right? Thresh, Ari pairing on 7 Faden. <clears throat> I feel like... How good is his AP? It's, it's good on Syndra. He has JG. Of course, he has JG. He's from China. You could say... You could you could argue that uh, Yasuo's too weak for the shielding. But we are playing four behemoths. We have more resistances than usual. It's pretty... It's pretty good, actually. The Yasuo shielding is actually pretty good. How much AP do you get from Ari? 90? That's a lot of AP. It's a lot of AP. 90 AP is a lot of AP. It's almost doubling your damage, if you think about it. Not really, but uh, almost, almost. I mean, you also have Arcanist in, so maybe maybe that gives you enough because you get 20 from the Arcanist and then you get 30 from the Ari tripled. AP or 10% damage, I mean, you do the math. So theoretically, if you do 10% bonus damage times 3, you get 30% more damage. Or you can get 90 AP and get 90% damage. But the bonus damage multiplies better than the additive, depending on how much AP he actually has, right? He gets AP from Guardbreaker, gets AP from, uh, from Nashers, and even a little bit from uh, some other traits, so, like Dryad. So there's uh the answer is it's a lot of nerdy math. Uh I don't know. I don't know. AP is frontline as well. That is true. It does scale things like the orange shielding. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. Is the stream blurry? Yeah, I when, I could try watching on 1080p, but then it skips. Okay. Alright, here we'll try 1080p. And if it if it lags, I blame your ego. Man, doesn't even want to load 1080p. Look at that. We're dead. Oh, 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 we're back. All four cost cares, so. Oh, it's freezing. It's all freezing. We're back. Oh, we're freezing. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of the the stream. That, that's kind of like the the problem with Chinese streaming sites. They throttle your ability to like watch high res stuff. It's pretty sad. I was just asking. No, I mean, I'm just messing around. Don't worry about it. It's not your, it's not your fault. Like, unless, unless you are literally the 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 chief technical officer of Huya, I don't hold it against you, man. <laughs> unless you are, in which case, can you cut me a deal? Like, put me on some premium plan. I want to watch these vods in 1080p. I don't know. Watch some TFT. Playing two Galio ones. We're looking for a uh, Udir. And Udir to be more grammatically, syntactically correct. Whoa, backline target dummies. Interesting. Is that for the 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 Yone? Oh, he just crashed his dummies. Derp, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. For whatever reason, I thought these were encounter dummies. Okay, well, not, that Kaiser just absolutely melted that cane. That cane did nothing. Hey, you know, Kindred's... Wait, don't call it a comeback? Okay, streaking. Kindred 3. 7 faded, making the comeback. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Coke shaky. Bam, food, thank you for the 7 months. Tilt, I just threw a game that should have been a first. Don't worry. I forgive you. I don't know about I don't know about Jesus or whoever, whoever you pray to, but at least I forgive you. Whatever deity you end up praying to. Four Reaper, five Heavenly. Yone two. Hey, might buy four. Might be a four. Ghostly emblem. I wonder if that makes an impact or not. <clears throat> Senna 3, Tattoo of Bamba. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Oh no, are we yoneying? Oh, no, it's a bot 4. Hey, Zayam, thank you for the six months. Bienvenido. <laughs> I 
try to say it in the most American way possible. In case you, in case you don't know, Zam, I'm practicing my Spanish. To maybe one day hop on a, a Spanish TFT co-stream for about five minutes before I embarrass myself. It happens to the worst of us. Yeah, it does. It does. Six ghostly Senna. He hit really early, so he's far ahead of tempo and now able to curve out. And that's good. Titans, Titans last was for Kane. Something tells me that's not, not the ideal build because I feel like Kane's survivability is not that high. I actually think... I actually think that Titans is not that good of a cane item. It just so happens that a lot of times when you play things like Gargantua Resolve, it's just a really good setup for secondary cane. But he does have lockets, pharmacists, healing orbs. It, it can be good if it gets full power. It's just, I don't know. It's, 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 it, feels like, it feels like that cane takes a while to get online. All right, here we go. We got the four bruiser, four trick shots online. A Mumu three faded. This guy took March of Progress, Recombobulator, and Heroic Grab Bag. Zero combat. Man, this is a Mumu. Holy shit, that was like 20 seconds of full on tanking. I mean, he loses because he's outscaled, but. That's not Amumu's fault. Amumu held it down. The rest of the team. The rest of the team couldn't really get it done. Has TT ever done a C patch? Yes, they have. Yes, they have. They've done a C patch a couple times. But I don't think they're going to because... I just don't think they're going to. Do you think we need to C patch or do you think it's bearable? Like, just, just you know... Put on, put on your TFT dev game hat right now. Just think about it. Like, because C patches aren't free. C patches aren't free. Like, if you do C patch, it takes active resources away from making future patches good and other things of that sort. Just disable everything must go. I mean, that, that's technically Z patching, I think. I, I don't know if that's maybe maybe that's like that's like categorized as like hot checks, but the B patch they re-enabled it. <clears throat> it's not even that bad. It's bearable. Next patch 17, so it's probably just suffered. Just disable everything that's going to fun. It's just a lot of high level scanning, but if you look at the general playbase, I guess it's alright. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're aligned there. I think we're aligned there. I think I think uh I think it's fine. Patch. It's fine. I say it's fine. I mean, it's... It's not the end of the world. It's not... It's not like Bilgewater 9... 9.5 launch. It's not like the Draven patch. You know, it's not the... <clears throat> I'm trying to think of other metas where it was like... Not like the Astral Toggling or, you know, Set with the infinite Ionia Reforger stacking thing. Like, there, it's, it's not that. That, those were like literally unplayable states of TFT, in my opinion. <laughs> Multicasters. Okay, but even then, Multicasters were like, it, it was like a bad meta, but like you can, you don't have to necessarily, like it's not, it's not something that you have to see patch. I'm talking about like actually unplayable, actually unplayable. This meta is playable. It's just, you know, whether or not you think it's fun is up to you. I think it's like, uh, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And so if you like this meta, hey, more power to you, more power to you. You mean reroll was horrible? Yeah, but at least that patch, first of all, by the way, that patch had, pat had meta evolution. That patch is underrated. It's not a good patch, but it was under it wasn't it wasn't the worst patch ever. That, by the end of that Yumi Jax patch, we actually were discovering other things. Maybe we'll discover something about this patch. Maybe we just suck at it. You know, like I, I I'm convinced I'm convinced there's more to this patch than just than just what we know. 
but also uh i do think that so far from my findings i haven't been able to find anything close to that also what are these these set items death blade edge of night set two? Oh my god he solo it he almost sold the whole team if he was able to pick up that kaisa oh my god this guy he scammed the win this thief goes on him to scam the win how did he do that did you get oh my god he just scammed the dub that's crazy you guys see what happened look, look, look at this look at this look at this his uh his set just goes in with uh edge of night death blade off the thieves gloves goes in and just systematically picks off everything so the trick shots can't uh, aoe down the back and they drop the aggro oh my god i mean this this the faded was scaling this guy is a chad he actually recombobbed into a mumu three faded damn all right, let's go into game two. Let's go into game two. Just got here. Why are people unhappy with the patch? Oh, I think just people don't want like how good reroll is, how bad certain forecast is, and how how oppressive certain reroll comps are at two stars, specifically Yone. Yone is uh is too good at two star. <clears throat> All right, let's go into game two. <clears throat> Volibear, yeah, yeah. Volibear and Yone too, which is way too stable, way too stable. I'm convinced Keanu reroll is underrated. I can see it. I can see it. uh which one is this oh is it a spatula opener <clears throat> oh wait it might be uh it might be tactician's cry I, I didn't see it zyra janna that's a cool comp it's a cool comp I played five games of it today. It's good when you hit. When you miss, it's uh, it's not so good. My next YouTube video is on Zyra Janna and Zoe Soraka, the AP duos. Uh, the problem with this comp is uh, you need to be. You just need to hit like on tempo. You can't be behind. You can't be behind. But if you get everything online, it's great. It's excellent. I mean, it's it's technically on me. I tried to force it. If I had like Zyra pair and Janna pair and I had like a rod or something like that, I would like force it. You shouldn't force it in that spot. You need to have better reasons. You need to have better better reasons. Why would you play it over Yone too? Exactly, exactly. But the thing is, how do you hit Yone too? That's a bigger question. After I was telling people that I played a game of Yone today, I had Yone pair in stage two, gargantuan resolve, like everything perfectly set up. I didn't hit Yone two all game, and I went eighth. <laughs> I I ended the game with 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 the same amount of Yone's as I started with, basically. Okay, silver pumping up. Ooh, fine vintage. Fine vintage. Fine vintage is a kind of awkward. Actually, isn't fine vintage kind of worse in this portal because you have a spatula? Can you do, do spatulas turn into uh, support items? I don't think so. So he's down a component. This is this is actually a worse fine vintage spot than usual. Mm. Are invokers playable? Only if you reroll Janna. And even then, you don't really want to re reroll invokers. Uh, like all of them. So the answer is not really. You can get heavenly spat. That is true. That is true. But you're going to be behind on tempo pretty significantly because the thing is, heavenly spat is not really good till the uh, like the late game because uh, it's not it doesn't do anything early. In the er, er, you know, early game you're barely getting heavenly bonus and you don't have a lot of two stars. So heavenly is just really weak until like end of stage three, beginning of stage four. 
So, if you get a Heavenly Emblem, you're like, okay, cool. It's good two stages from now. <clears throat> or Fawn or another Heavenly Sage Altruist. Oh, oh, oh. If you're squeezing another unit on the board. I, I can see that. I can see that. I could see that. Iron assets. BT. Three heavenly. Three heavenly. So he's going to go for Yone. So we have fine vintage. We have Yone. We have caretaker's ally. Look at that. Someone took our caretaker's ally. You know what this is good for? It's good for Janna and Zyra if you hit. Because you can hit Janna, Zyra, Nico. Maybe Riven. Would any of you, if you got Riven, go for Riven 3? With Caretakers? If you get Caretakers and you get like an early Riven 3, or would you sell for 12 gold? Exalted, Malphite, Senna, Amumu, Kane, Leeson, and Silas. That's the only combo that has Malphite. And so, ooh. kind of a beast you're telling me so, you could, so i can include all my my overlay i don't i don't have the space of it i guess i could reformat it but <clears throat> she's the worst unit ever printed she is not come on are you kidding me her tags are amazing her tags are amazing Altruists, which is so good. Bruiser, which gives you the HP with the resistances. And he's a story weaver. Best unit I've gotten from the Augma is Kindred in a game that turned into six Dryad. Kindred is low key decent. That Kogma too in the shop. This patch, Kindred is low key decent, but it's not, uh, it's one of those units that you can't actively go seeking. Kindred needs to come find you. She needs to come find you because you have Kindred, then there's the Yone players, and there's Faded players. So if you just like, the more you want it, the more you're just going to be like disappointed because the Yone players are going to take all the, the they're, they're going to each take three kindreds. They're just slow. They're just, you know, they're taxing you. And the faded player is like, oh, I kind of need this. Even if they have a faded emblem, I kind of need this until I hit set. Even then I might keep it because I'm going to hit Orn. Just slowly but surely like just taking, just taking the kindreds out of the pool. It's just hard. It's just hard. The channels I mod, I just pin my comments listing the exalted. Oh, I see. I'm sure Yorick is worse than Riven, even if you ignore tags. I believe it. Yorick is is useless. I think it's a smart system, by the way. Smart system. We got three fortune. No, we have two fortune. We got one Aegis. Oh, I hope he plays Story Weaver Blue Kale. And then he goes for he goes for Super Saiyan Blue Kale. Triple blue. She just goes and nukes. He throws out her Kamehameha waves. York is bad with a hero augment. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. How bad we talking? How bad we're talking with this York? It, some people are saying so. Some people are saying Riven is the worst unit ever printed. Okay, actually, only one person saying that. But what it, it has been said that Riven is the worst unit printed, and people are saying York's even worse. Send it to Selka. Thank you for the prime. 
How you doing? Thanks for supporting the channel, man. Uh, we have Senna 2. We have Garen 2 in the shop. We're not buying it. Kind of indicating that we're going to lean towards Senna. We have four Senna's. I see. We're playing Ghostly Senna, trying to get a sword. We have no items, though. The real big issue with spatula portals is um, if you're not slamming early and you don't get a lot of components off of, like, an augment, you have to use an item to combine into it, which slows it down. So if, instead of using our first sword for a Senna item, we are using it for a spatula. Or alternatively, we are using that first sword for a Senna item. We have to hope that we get a sword. You go the entirety of stage two, three, four without an emblem for your spatula, right? Because you don't have it. And then you pop your anvil and you realize that you should have, you don't, you don't have anything to do with the spatula. It's the dead spatula. That's the dynamic of spatulas that are, I think, frustrating as a portal. But I think that a little bit has to do with potential macro. Usually you want to just slam the first emblem you can. I also think porcelain emblem is really underrated. It's the highest win rate and average placement emblem in the game. Surely it's it's not bad. Surely it's not bad. Uh, portal with porcelain has to be good. I appreciate all you do for TFT, so take my Bezos bucks. Gladly. Gladly. You know, it's not uh it's not glamorous work, but I will accept Bezos bucks. They do they do convert pretty nicely to the US dollars. <clears throat> that one's gotta do it. Rivers pretty trash as unit traits are insane. Well, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I don't think anyone disagrees there. Felix with Rage Blade, we're getting smashed by Adarius. Level 6, Heavenly Emblem. Ooh, Gnar reroll. Or at least the potential Gnar reroll. We got 4 Dryad. Give him the mulch. Give him the mulch. 3 2 mulched. And another Silver. Can two people be offered an augment like Mulch? Yeah, yeah, they can. They can. In fact, I believe it's possible for everyone in the lobby to get offered similar augments. I remember back in its heyday, Tiny Titans. Tiny Titans. There's one time, I think, back in the day. I don't remember which set it was. I want to say set six, set seven. When Tiny Titans was so good, it guaranteed you like top four. Its top four rate was something ridiculous, like 60%, which is really high. Everyone had Tiny Titans. You would scout around. There was like legitimately five or six people that had Tiny Titans. And so you're just behind everyone else by like 30 something HP. And then you just bought four because you just don't have enough HP. Everyone else, everyone else collectively decided to get like take Tiny Titans and you didn't get that much stronger. You guys remember, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The stage four tiny titans. So I, I, it's definitely possible for people to get the same augments, for sure. Speaking of, a hundred and thirty HP. Streaking. 130 HP. Full streak so far. Whoa, this guy's rerolling Sivir? Hold on. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. But what if he did? What if he did? Wait. Okay. I don't know. I was looking. I was looking to make sure I didn't miss a like a like a Trickster's Glass or a, I don't know hologram. That's not even possible. Hologram's a headliner thing. Man, how many times did I do that last set where I was like, oh my god, he has seven copies of blank. And it's like, oh, actually, it's just hologram. Lulu. Has seven copies of Lulu. You know what? Give him the server three. I'll allow it. Poor Pitsy. Why does everyone pick on him? People pick on Pitsy? I think it's it's more like like two people pick on Pitsy. Pops the support anvil in the middle of the carousel. Picks a shroud. Yone offers an additional component on the carousel. Three tiny titans. 
Find vintage blistering strikes. Unified parcel ascension and uh it looks like to be the golden remover, but I can't tell. Can't tell. Ooh, Riven Dew. Okay, not bad. Nashers. <clears throat> oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Randuins. Randuins is good. Randuins Aegis. Okay. Okay, it's time. He's he's going for the crazy. He's going for the crazy. Whoa, second row kale. Second row kale. People told me that this doesn't happen anymore. Okay, is it me or are we doing no damage at all? This faded plus Alawi just stopping everything in his tracks. We killed no units. Nothing died. Six units are alive. He's level six. Six units are alive. Nothing happened. Oh, God. That's not good. What's your prediction for the next patch? My prediction for the next patch is that people will complain about it and talk about how they just don't, they're just not having fun in TFT anymore. That's that's my prediction. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are uh, are burnt out on TFT and just are just they're just, they're just complaining about it now. They're just, you know. At least, oh, sorry, a lot of uh, a lot a lot of engaged players are burnt out on TFT because they play it all the time. They don't really play anything else, or they engage a lot with the community and then. Uh, like they're they're looking for any other any reason they could grasp anything that's in their way. They're like, oh, bad balance. Man, this game is terrible. Worst set ever. I can't stand it. And, it, and it's like, oh, balance is good. I I hate the mechanic. Oh, the mechanic's actually pretty good. Oh, I, I you know this. I hate the portals. Oh, the portals and the mechanic and the balance is good. Well, competitive's a joke. Oh, riots like doubling the prize pool. So you know, so they're just looking for a lot of things. Now, I'm not saying these are not all the same people. They're just people don't like different things, but. I do think people are very vocal these days about what they don't like about TFT. I kind of like Set 11, actually. Like, a lot. I don't really like the patch, but I like Set 11 a lot. I'm going to go out on a limb and say something even in another hot take. I think Set 11 is actually quite good. And, like, one of the be one of the better sets they've made so far. <laughs> the hot take, I guess. Wait, this guy already hit Aurelia? I definitely prefer set 10, but I like the set 2. That's what I'm talking about. I think the set is cool. I think the mechanic is actually quite fun. And, uh, listen... You guys have watched me get screwed on stream a lot by the mechanic, and I'm still saying that I like it. Doesn't that tell you something? Hot take shadow items were trash. Okay, where were you like three years ago? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Cash out, 35, into a tome. That's one of the worst ones, unless he gets a really good trait. Really good trait, Altruist or Dragon Lord or something good to support it. Yikes. Oh, it's a fine vintage. Story Weaver emblem. Okay, never mind. This guy's back. We're back. We're back. Seven Story Weaver. Seven Story Weaver. Get that Garen in. And blue, blue, blue. 
Oh, and another Aegis. Okay, it's time. This Kamehameha wave is going to hit like a truck. You guys ready for this? Wait, he has Golden Remover Shroud? That's cheesy. Wait, wait, wait. Buff the... Buff the... Buff, buff the Zizirots. Ah. Golden Remover Shroud with Fine Vintage. It doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't get much cringier than that in terms of uh you know cheesing items and whatnot my only problem this set well, let me scroll up smur says my only major problem with this set is how similar a lot of the units looks makes it kind of hard to parse some boards at a glance i can see that people say that about a lot of sets though because of the themes Soraka offers another support item. Well, yeah. Well, gosh. Thank you, Mort. I'll just take another uh, Randuin. That being said, he's at 10 HP. So he's it's not actually all good just yet. Not all good just yet. Two Story Weaver emblems. Red, blue, blue, kale. Two Aegis support item. Wow. That's, uh, that's a lot of support. Second row Kale still, by the way. Second row Kale still. And also not not getting full Randuin's value. There's a little, there's like this weird little air bubble. Oh, because he wants to get Aegis value. He still can get Aegis if you move it up. Um, I mean, he doesn't want to go full color. Oh, it's the mirror match. It's the mirror match. Blue Kale. Nice. Okay, does this, this Chi 2 win out? Does Chi 2 win out? 10 HP. Find Vintage, 7 Story Ever win out. I think most of the just for fun counters like the set one are actually not fun at all. I disagree. I like the set encounter. I like the set encounter. I feel inspired to work out by it, you know? Also, like, you know, what? It, who says the set encounter is for you? Maybe you don't like watching hot rip dudes work out, but uh, some people don't mind. Some people don't mind. Some people would like to see more of it, you know? Put it this way, if it was uh if it was like another champion working out and getting bigger, I'm pretty you know, if it, if it was like a like a highly sought after and fantasized female champion doing some stuff, I'm pretty like Lilia, I'm sure you guys wouldn't be complaining nearly as loud. Just saying. Just saying. I think I'm I'm starting to think some of you guys are just set haters. It's okay, I get it, man. Sometimes, oh, 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 that Nar three, oh, are we? Oh, we're at ninety five HP. We're fine. Wait, to do lost three HP, Kindred three, Nar three. You know what? Maybe I should try some Kindred reroll after after we're done watching this group. The set encounter gave me enough time to hit follow on Frodan's stream. There you go. I only dislike the bag changes. The bag changes are supposed to punish people who all... Like, theoretically, the bag size changes are supposed to help the patch right now. Because it means that Yone is so OP that five people could play Yone. If, if the bag sizes were reverted to the way people want it, Yone would be even more insane, you guys. Just think about it. Just put it that way. If you're like, I don't like the bag sizes, that would mean everybody could play Yone. It would be like four people top four with Yone. I'm not even exaggerating. You think I'm... Uh, you're like, yeah, no, 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 you're just, you're just saying that. It, it's actually true. Wait, you went eighth. 
Kindred Nar 3? Okay, let's let's look at the let's look at the Nar Kindred board. T two and eight. Wait, both fine vintage players might go seven eight. I I personally think it's it's not good to play it unless you have like like from from a spot where like you have spatula portal and you just can't slam an item. I think that's where a little bit of a macro mistake was. I, I think the way he played his spot was fine, but from a from a spot recognition macro POV, probably not. Is he frontlining Kindred? Yeah, because Kindred dashes back. This set is very good for flex players. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Is it is it is this hot take Wednesday? Is this what's going on? Everyone just dropping their hot takes. Let me let me let me think and ponder on that. Let me think and ponder about that. This set is good for flex players. Okay, I need you to defend this stance. I can't just I, I can't uh I'm I'm trying my, my best at mental gymnastics. But I'm not quite at the Olympic level, so please hit me with it. Why is this set so good for flex players? I'm keeping an open mind. No, 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 hold on, hold on, you guys. Before before you guys start going into ham, just a little, let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. Hit me with it. Court Elroy. Hit me with it. I want to I want to I want to hear your case. I want to hear your case. Yo, what up, Phoenix? I can flex Kaisa Trickshot, Kaisa Ghostly, and Kaisa Legendary. That is actually flex. Believe it or not. He's uh that that is the most flexible way to play the current patch. You I mean you're 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 like memeing, but that's not even a joke. That's actually the most flexible way you can play this patch. Grim Harvest. Seven Heavenly Four Reaper. Kaisa player go and bot four. Tiny Titans eleven HP still not looking that good. This is Chu Chi. Chu Chi is a really established tournament player. He's done really well the past few sets in particular. Go in seven. Okay, Court Elroy. I'm more forcible and struggling, where my friend is open and pivoting and having more success. Oh, interesting. We're both plat if it matters. It does matter. It does matter. Okay. So you're saying because you hard force and you are you are not climbing and you're, you're struggling, but your friend is playing more flexibly and having more success, in your opinion, it rewards more flexibility. That's interesting. Wait, I won't lie. I was playing on a smurf and plat and I saw infinite ash players. They actually flex down there. <laughs> Do you guys believe in the idea that uh, flex used to be a thing in TFT because we were bad at the game? Like we're still not good at TFT as in terms of like law, like the, the macro perspective. Like there's, there are good players at TFT, but like collectively as a player base, have we fully mastered TFT? No, not even close. So people are like, I long for the days. I pine for when TFT was a game where you could flex. Was that TFT or were we just bad? Hmm. It's an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea. Another story. Wait, is the story weaver player alive? We can get 10 story weaver. 10 story weaver. Is that, is it? Is it Wu Tai Juanda or whoever his name is? Would you call Spicy Appies a flex player? I would. I would. I would call Spicy Appies one... An, not only is Spicy Appies a flex player, I would call him an endangered species. Like, we actually... I'm down for Riot to fund a, a, a TFT government program to preserve players like Appies because uh, it's hard out there, man. It's a hostile environment. Whatever TFT ozone layer equivalent is eroding in front of our very eyes. There's not many of them left.
Dude, that guy's gonna get 10 story weaver. I kind of miss old TFT with no augments. Well, that makes one of us. I'm pretty sure TFT with no augments would die. In fact, I don't even think that's uh I don't even think I think that's actually like the overwhelming sentiment. If you don't believe me, just look at the one set we played with no augments portals. Still water hold. A small minority liked it. But they liked it mainly because they wanted to disrupt other people's game plans. That was like the big reason why people picked it. They're like, oh, I wanted to pick it because I like throwing people off and I feel more comfortable being in those like weird situations. But TFT without augments is uh is not that fun. I think the game would literally die. I think it, it's, it's really boring. It's just that the forecasts are bad right now. Once I get the forecast balance right, flex will be back. You know what, Tangent? I like your optimism. Oh my. That's not just one tap the cane. Yo. I mean, that's Udyr too as well. Here comes the Nar. Nar Kindred. Nar stuck on a on a set. Set one. Can't do anything. It's Nar Kindred's bot four. I mean that 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 sounds right. Like basically Nar hits a wall in the in the late stage of the game where he can't kill certain things that are just too tanky. And then uh and then you can't do anything. Nar is entirely predicated on getting access to the back line quickly. You know what would be great? Hacker. Then Nar could get to the back line. <laughs> just, just put in that that dryad Nar into the hacker, get to the back line, and just watch him go to town. That's what this set needs. More backline access. This guy's going to ten. Do we have? Oh, we have we have ten story weaver. Oh, he wins the game. And well played. Find vintage triple ages ten story weaver man. This guy, this guy is destroying everybody. It's not going to be even close. Man, look at that. She her her wings are blue, green, and red, and every shade in between. Very cool. Please leave Senna alone. She's fine. We don't need another bard situation. Oh, I I don't think anyone even... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Tesla Weaver's just crashing the stream. All right. Hold on. Let's uh, reload. Let's reload. 21841. 21841. 218... Ah, 50 is fine. This person won the fight. <clears throat> That's what 10 story weaver looks like yeah it's pretty insane she becomes a four star unit the ghost of it is winning this kale has no items and she's just winning off pure stats Woodier offers you components oh no support item there's another Udir one that gives you like attack defense or magic what is that one I really like the ink art. Yeah. No, the art the art is beautiful, this set. A lot of the stuff is cool. Like, trust me, trust me. The lo a lot of the set they cooked. They 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 did a lot of good stuff with the set. Aesthetically. Aesthetically. But as you guys know, if Yone 2 is too strong, the whole set's bad. I'm just I'm just that's, that is not what they're saying at all. I just I, I just I just like saying that because I know it pisses a lot of TFT players off. <clears throat> oh no! Our KO guys. Wait a second. Nah, it's ten story weaver. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> okay, okay. Like he just he just let it get Zephyr and Shroud and didn't even didn't even skip a beat. Has there ever been a set where Nar was actually good for more than one patch and not just a trait bot? 
Uh, yeah, several. Set one Nar was kind of insane. Set three Nar, the Astro Nar was really good. Set six Nar actually was kind of a synergy bot. Set eight Nar was pretty good. Also, this sets Nar is not that bad. You know what? You know what the problem is. You know what the problem is with Nar currently, like on Dryad, the Dryad Warden Nar. He's too fair. He's actually a very, very fair champion. He's too honest. He has to go through the front. He has to ramp up. He has to have like specific good items and good setup for it, in good conditions. And he falls off, right? So he's good early, and then you have to kind of like support. He's just, he's like, he's very fair and honest. And honest doesn't really cut it these days. You gotta, you gotta cut some corners to, to get ahead. It's like what they say in Formula One. If you're not, if you're not cheating or at least trying to cheat, then you're not really trying to win. When I say that in TFT terms, is uh, if you're not trying to do something egregiously OP and, and scam worthy, then uh, then you're not really trying to win. If you're like, well, you know, I'll fight honestly with like this NAR three. I just have to get to the front, and my kindred will help. It's like, no, not for very long. <clears throat> yeah, do stuff like uh, ten story weaver. You know, three star four cost with everything must go. Fast 12 with Kaisa and trick shots. Or Yone 2. You have to play something really bullshit. Okay, Bushi, you stole my punchline. I was getting there. I was getting there. One thing I really like what this says, getting to level 9 and 10 is easier. It is, it is. Also, there's a lot of gold. There's a lot of inflation. And encounters give... And if you guys think about it, <laughs> see, this, this dude just lets his Kale get Zephyr every time. He just does not care. He's just like, yeah, whatever. My Kale just wins. He literally could just AFK and would win the game. 10 Story Weaver Kale. Caretaker's allies find vintage. Damn. Not bad. All right, let's go into the next game. There's five games today. There's five games today. Can you give me more info on how to play Everything Must Go if you hit 3-2? Yeah. Check out my latest YouTube video. Do you think 10 Faded could compete against 10 Story Weaver? Uh, I mean, it, yes, depending on like how you set things up. But 10 Story Weaver is like insanely strong. Insanely strong. I've never seen I've never seen a head to head of ten faded versus ten story weaver, but hmm. it's true. I actually watched his video this morning, then got it and went first easy. <laughs> Paid actor. Man, I didn't even I didn't even pay you to say anything. Thank you. Amazing. I hope the augment stays. It's not staying. It's not staying. I'm pretty sure uh, that augment is gone. <laughs> There's no way that augment's staying. Are you kidding me? Everything must go? You think that augment stays? I'm just going to say it right here. If you don't, if, if you're like, you know what? I'm not going to pick everything must go. If you're a player that uh, that gets offered everything must go, and you're not picking it, you are actively missing out on a collective communal TFT experience. If you do not choose this augment, you're not going to know what it's like to feel the insane power. 
You're like the one person who didn't play Draven during the Draven patch. You didn't pick up Warwick during War Week. You're just not going to understand what it's like to be drunk with power. You, if you, if you aren't picking it now, you're never going to get the chance to. So do it now. Do it now. Queue up literally right now. Is there, every, is there, oh, there's too much candy. There's too much candy. Also, which portal is this? I don't know what portal this is. Ethereal blades. Ethereal blades. Venerable piggy. Oh, this this augment supposedly is very very good. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Don't pick the gargantuan resolve, man. My bedtime is not for another six hours. Dude. Oh, it's com it's completed anvil. Come on, man. I had a game yesterday where three people got the augments. I wasn't one of the three. I sneaked a top four, top three where the everything must go boards. It was stupid. Yes. I'm saying if you don't pick everything must go right now, very soon, you're not going to get a chance to. And you just don't know what it's like. You just don't know what it's like. The, 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 the free LP is gone. The stimmy package, right? Every it's it's technically fair. Everyone can hit everything must go, but if you choose to pass it, you're like saying, I don't want my stimulus check during COVID. I'm okay. I'll play it that I'll put I'll play one grand down. Everyone else got the free LP, why not you? More importantly, in about a year from now, probably even less. Probably less. We're we're gonna be like in set thirteen. And we're going to be like, man, does anybody remember everything must go and how OP that augment was? And everyone's going to be at, you know, sitting at the table. So that's what we do in TFT. If we're not playing TFT, we're sitting around the virtual table and talking about TFT. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, yeah, it was so OP. I remember I get like three stars here and three star Hui and three star whatever. And you're going to be like, nah, I skipped this so I could like, you know, re-roll Senna. Nice. Just pick it, man. It is, there's no, you don't, don't be above it. Just pick it, experience the power, and then share the experience with us and, and, and molding about this augment. The true average placement of uh, Everything Must Go, assuming people are playing it correctly, is in the ones. That augment is disgustingly strong. <laughs> it's true It's true placement in, in terms of like, it's piloted correctly and people understand what, you know, how to use it well and whatnot. It, it's actually like in the ones. Anyways, that's that's my little spiel, but everything must go pick it. And this guy is complete open for it. So how come you took it yesterday and got a seventh? I mean someone's someone's gonna not go first with it, right? The reason why it's in the ones is because someone has to low roll, and I already got it out of the way. Think about it. They can't have augments be a hundred percent top four rate. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. They can't have augments be a hundred percent win rate, because then, I mean, that's just that that just shows a, a complete failure on Riot's end. Someone has to low roll, and that's me. I took it. I took the bullet for you. So now that the now that the one person who needed to low roll is out of the way, you're free to all hit. You can thank me later. Ethan, thank you for the sub. Nineteen months. What's working this tournament? Kaisa is a lot of Kaisa. They uh they're playing fine vintage whenever they can. So far we've seen th four van f four people take fine vintage in two games. Three people. One person went eighth with it. Uh, we're seeing center reroll, Nar reroll, Kindred re or fa uh, faded. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Yone. Fortune. And then uh. We saw Shen, Shen, re the Ethereal Blades, it didn't do that well. We saw, uh, we haven't seen Duelists, actually. We haven't seen Duelists. Spross, thank you for the nine months as well. I believe the third best augment on win rate percentage for Dan, only behind the two Fortune Augments, two Augments, which I would argue at least needs some skill to play. The two Fortune Augments need skill to play. Agreed. Actually, uh, no, no disagreement there. No disagreement there. I will say here here's here's something 
that I think might be a controversial take. You guys ready for it? This might be this might be my hottest take. We're apparently we're doing hot take Wednesday. You wanna hear my hottest take yet? All augments in TFT require skill to play. Oh my god! What the heck? What the No No, what is this? Oh god. <laughs> Okay, maybe except Gargantuan Resolve when you hit Yone too. Like, what was this? Never mind. I was just... Man, Way to I'm prove me Mort wrong, Mort Dog. Not Mort Dog, but like the concept of Mort. Yeah. RS did, thank you for two months. Welcome back. What is this guy's board? He's got, Yo he's got Yone too. Double Titans. And you know what? Tattoo of Vitality is actually not bad on Volibear. Uh, a lot of people meme on this uh, tattoo. It's actually quite good on Volibear if you get it snowballing. Disgusting. You know what? Just give him a dual emblem. I'm down. Uh, in, in, this, in this spot, you don't even have to pivot into Yone. You can actually just say, Duelist Yone, Duelist Titans plus one on him, and then Titans on Volibear plus one, and then and then just roll it with Duelist Yone. Just give it to him. And then he hits Yone three, Volibear three, and then 100s the lobby. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Even Iron Asset? Oh, yeah. Actually, Iron Assets takes a lot of situational knowledge because you have to know... Uh, you, a lot of times you're trying to make gold, so you have, to hold, you have to be judicious about how you hold your units. Do you level? Do you... Uh, it, do you pop your item anvil at all even and then if you do what are you trying to play for and how you play your items i think iron assets is a really good example of a subtle augment that's very simple and yet has an amazing amount of depth i'm not here to just glaze up augments for no reason but iron assets is actually like it's 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 uh it's one of the, it's like it's a it's a quintessential like easy like simple to learn hard to master type of augment because it's very subtle all you do is get a little bit of gold in one item component but that in itself could be a huge impact on your game when you make your first gold and how you're going to play your early game stage two and how you make your items those are the core three things you're always thinking about in the early game most of the skill in augments is choosing them that's true to a point and that point is around masters because at masters most people know what to take for the most part so then how do you differentiate that then it actually inverts it's actually uh it's how you ha it's how you play them but i would say all the way up to around masters on average that's probably true two gargantuans players two gargantuans players are prismatic okay trash to treasure with so many components on the board five fortune oh it's trash to treasure it's trash to treasure it's trash to treasure just save one last whisper if you want for the kaisa i guess he's five fortune he can take his time he's got 20 seconds he can look up the stats He's really agonizing over this. New recruit is not bad either. Oh, really? Really? Dude, you even have a completed item on your bench. Trash treasure is really good. Really, really, really good. He's worried about tempo. He's worried that he's going to be stuck on Kaiso 1 and he can't hit and he can't stabilize. I get it. I think that was a fantastic trash treasure spot. It's good for tempo. I mean, it depends. So the problem is right now he's playing Fortune and he can't really use it right now. It's also a really hard augment to play because if you actually, let's, let's go ahead and look back at his spot here. So if you're like looking at the trash to treasure, the reason why it's hard is because he has to do something like what items I'm going to save, what am I, I going to reforge? And then do I want to reforge that as well? 
So like, let's say this turns into a Trickster's Glass. He doesn't want it. So then he does Trickster's Glass for something else, and then he re reforges that, and he has to do another two items. It's it's uh it's it's pretty complicated. It could be as simple as like, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get dizzy. I'm gonna take new recruit. New recruit is also really good. It's a duplicator. Helps you hit things like you know that random booter too. That really fast Kaisa too. Things like that. Plus it helps you squeeze in maybe like a really efficient board at eight. You can go for four bruiser, four trick shot, and three ink shadow. Variations thereof. Also, his items are good. Another thing you can do, think about trash your treasures that your item is, is a way to, for you to like fix your items in, in a sense. Like your items are bad. So you're like, okay, I'll just reforge it. This guy gets the two duplicate. This guy just gets a gold tier augment, heroic grab bag. Well, that's really good. 100 HP streaking. One hundred HP streaking. Another way to think about it is, uh, five fortune is likely to give you a bunch of items. It's a way for you to convert off of it. I like trash to treasure there. I'm a trash to treasure fan. Yone two, Titans, Titans, Hodge, Heavenly Crown, which gives a Hodge. Oh, we won. Oh, gods can bleed. Tiny but deadly Senna. Oh, Ethereal Blades online. He got blinding speed. Yo, okay, okay. I think the Shen Augment is kind of hype. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree. Also, he played Hodge on, uh, on Shen. I don't think that's as good. Also, do you guys do you guys build like a third damage item or do you guys go like Bramble on Shen these days? A lot of people play Rage Blade, Rage Blade, Bramble on Shen. Assuming you get the pick. Assuming you get the pick. What up, Guffy? I've seen people pick the Shen Augment and Center Reroll and it's just been really good as free 3 Shens. Yeah, exactly. They just like itemize Tank Shen. They get Shen 3 really quickly. And then they just have an unkillable frontliner. Okay. Two more Shens. Two more Shens. Just two more. The problem is that the other people are playing Shens. We're at 70 HP. We're rolling pretty aggressively. One more Shen. One more Shen. Who even takes red buff? Yorick. Nice. Not really. Look at that Shen go. Look at that Shen go. This guy's streaking the lobby. Not anymore, he's not. And Shen in the shop. Shen the shop? Does he roll? He, if he rolls, he's trying to protect his four streak or three streak rather into into neutrals, which can earn back two gold. He rolls. If he hits, he's a genius. It's a good play. He can roll one more time if he wants to be a degen about it. Two duplicators because he took the new recruit. He's at 57 on his fortune. One more turn. I believe he gets into 75. Is it? How much luck was that? If he doesn't get into 75, it's actually kind of tragic. Then you kind of actually want to win this round so you're at 50. I just avoid Shen now. He never does well for me. Fair enough. That's me and Yone. Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer is very good as well, the damage. I, I was just asking if you guys have a preference. I'm pretty sure uh, they're both good. Ooh, we didn't kill many things. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to the... Oh, wait, wait. They're, they're going. They're going to. And go back to the fortune player, man. He's about to cash out. Hold on. Interrupting Yone. It's like those old knock knock jokes back in the day. You're like six years old. They're like, knock knock, interrupting cow. What the heck? Wait a second. Three star legendary is on the table. What? We have four duplicators. 
What? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This guy, the most common thing he has on his board are duplicators. He doesn't have four of anything else. He's not rolling. This guy is a giga shad. What is he doing? He, he's, he's sacking one more. He's waiting for the augment. He's waiting for the augment. Dude, it's round three of five. Like we, you still have two games. You don't have to. I mean, it's look, listen, I'm, I'm all for the entertainment. He, I can't believe you're sacking. What are you doing? Oh my God. Okay. Oh God. He says, I'm stable. He says, I'm stable. I can win this fight. I can win this fight. If you don't have to roll to get strong because you're going to win anyways, then don't. It's close. It's very close. Wow, he won. Amazing. Amazing. He knew that he was going to win the whole time. I. You know what's crazy about these four duplicators? You can go past the pool limits. You can go past the pool limits. Bruiser Crest. He went to nine. I really a pair. He's not picking it up. <gasps> he, oh, he's two off Irelia. He is two off Irelia. Two more Irelias, and it is good game. Bro, how does this guy sit down with balls these huge? Anyone else getting stressed which is like watching him have four duplicators? Dude, you know what? I just realized Kane Drew might lose his record. Kane Drew might lose his record. We have a record in North America. Three duplicators left on the bench. Arshan got effort. This guy says, hold my beer. Kane Drew missed Blitz 3. Three dupes on the bench. I got one higher. He's playing Gunblade, by the way. He uh, swapped his item out. We've seen it before. List three on the bench. No, no, no. This is different, though. This is different. You're, you, you would die with four duplicators on the bench. Did he win? Go back to the other guy. Th that, that guy's POV is way more interesting. The, the, the fast 9-4 dupes fortune player. See an observer, please. I'm begging you. Go back, go back to the to the four dupe guy. No, not this guy. Although this is this guy really is information. That means it's one fewer really in the pool. Okay, okay, we're here, we're here. We won two fights. We need to get these items onto Irelia. We need to get these items onto Irelia. I I'm down to. Do you guys think I really do you think I really a two is better than Zaya one? Zaya is a good unit, but I feel like I feel like I really a two would be really good. Oh god, we're losing. We lost the center two. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, 19 HP. That's actually three lives on stage four. I'm not even joking. You could die you could lose twice. Okay, Zaya pair. Gives us the ability to move items as well. I like that. Whoever is observing is committing a war crime. Okay, man. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he needs one more. He needs two more. He needs two more. He has four duplicators. He has three Irelias. The magic number is two. Dose. Dose. Oh? Okay. And now we have Runins on Irelia. Okay. Okay. Now we need two more Zaya slash for cons.
Ok. I swear to god, if this guy dies with four duplicators, he's going on the list. He's going on the list. I need to have... I need to maintain a Hall of Shame list. I watch way too many players to not have one at this point. Rodan's infamous Hall of Shame. Okay, but he hit Zaya too. He's real. He's, he's way stronger now. He has Zaya too. He teched in for a trick shot. He's way stronger now. He has time. He has time. The Blitzcrank, yes. The Blitzcrank situation goes in there. You guys remember RY when he was 100 HP streaking, rolled to zero, sold his Vexes, lost with Disco. This is this is when Disco was at his weakest. Lost to Disco eight times in a row from 100 HP against 16 HP. Because he sold his Vex and lost his Wincon, he was 100 HP streaking. This poor guy. Just trying to play a ghostly Kaisa game. He is seventh. Yone three. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> trying to corner Zephyr, we miss. Okay, you only three, one, one. Surprise, surprise. Let's go to the let's go to the other player. You guys know who I want to watch. He can also go for a three star four cost as well. One more Aurelia. Uno Mas. Uno Mas. One more Aurelia. One more Aurelia. You know what? Just give him a fifth duplicator. Just give him the fifth duplicator. Why do I feel like he's going to get a fifth duplicator? <laughs> oh, God. Could you imagine? Okay, one more Aurelia. You just roll here, right? Because you don't want to get denied. Dude, 10% odds. 10 rolls. That's not really high odds at all. Very low cost, especially because it's a duelist player. Another Udir. Zir. Be careful not to tot roll. Yeah, exactly. Pick up uh, Timo 2. Frontline item here. I like uh, Redemption or Romogs. I don't know why he's positioning as if this Kale has, um, has like a buff. It's just making it more likely that AOE will target certain corners. You could just put Kale towards the center, for example. <clears throat> oh. Player lag. No. Oh, a tactical pause. Wait. What happened? Uh, looks like we DC'd. Also, it looks like he lost his fight and he sold his board. Wait a second. He lost his fight and he sold his board and he's rolling down. Oh my god. Three, two. Okay, so the broadcast struggle and lag. He's, he's doing it. Oh my god. He hit. 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 Oh my god, he actually hits. Oh, how did he actually... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys don't know, I really have three stuns the whole board. Damn. That's crazy. I really have three at nine. 10% odds. 10% odds. Any chance this guy loses? How many five costs from the pool? Nine. Nine. And there's already one of them out. You can see in the bottom left here, there's an Irelia. So duplicators can go beyond the pool restriction. Because it would suck to use a duplicator and there's nothing that happens. Someone asked, what's the tech? I really a three and 10 story weaver. 
He actually lost his previous fight, so he all in, sold his board, and hit. He actually hit. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And it sucks because it almost feels like everyone just loses a placement from where they are. The fourth place player gets a fifth. The third place player gets a fourth. So on and so forth. Actual skamas. This guy's playing fortune. Oh, you know what he's going to try to do? He's going to try to play fight fortune. He's going to try to heal his HP in case something crazy happens. In case something crazy happens, he loses. He's going to heal back his HP. Five fortune for the heal. Because he has an emblem. He has an emblem. And now if I'm him, I just try to deny stuff. I try to deny stuff. Like, just take, like, a Reaper emblem. Like, the, the Reaper guy. What? He's just literally staying out of the... What? Okay, business? What's going on here, man? He's just not grieving anybody. Wait a second. This guy is so nice. He just lets everyone on the care. <laughs> is that a swag play or is uh is is there a little sus actions going on? He's just saying, you know what? Sure, you're the Reaper player. Take the Reaper. You're gonna need it, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> Dude, Chinese players are gentlemen. Nice little gentleman's agreement. I wish I played against people like that. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm so paranoid that I'm getting grief that I always assume people are griefing me, even though if they're not, they're not even trying to grief me half the time. But I'm so paranoid because I get grief so often. Oh, this guy got his effort. That's not good. Okay, I'm pretty sure the Shen player's fifth. That sucks. I think his Shen board is good enough to definitely top four, but I think he's he's four, he's fifth here. And Yone. <clears throat> Wukong two, that helps. That definitely helps. A lot of heavenly stuff. Remember, there is one X factor to consider. The game, the game is functionally over in terms of who gets first place, right? This guy, this guy is Max Verstappen. Everybody else is uh, playing for second. But what matters is how many units you kill besides the Aurelia, because that could be the X factor. There's a lot of weak units in the front. He is playing Five Fortune, by the way, to heal back up. I like that. Uh, there's a lot of weak units. If you can kill them, that's going to be your placement between second, third, and fourth. <clears throat> never mind you're not killing anything haha <laughs> you just got 9 owed. okay never mind never mind there's no HP to be preserved there's no HP to be preserved imagine you're playing dragon lord and you're like yeah that's right I stunned the whole board just give me 8 seconds It's like that uh what what's that movie where like the they build it all up just for the movie to end like just for the fight with the villain to end in like 10 seconds not it's like it's like it's like some some badass adjective i think it's like unbreakable or something like that it's like this movie with like a villain it's, it's an entire okay I, may, I might be spoiling it for you but it's like it's like this whole like sci-fi brave new world type of movie like dystopian future society and then like the guy decides to fight the villain and then it's like all this climactic buildup, and then he just ends it in like one punch <clears throat> yeah yeah the movie is really dark anyways that's kind of like what's going on here. It just, it just, just ends it so fast, it doesn't even matter. Like, I just stuns the whole board, kills everything, and it's just GG. You know what I would love? I would love if one three-star legendary in the future is like the rumbling from uh, Attack on Titan. Like Udi or something like that. Udi becomes like, it's just like uh, like some some kind of unit just like multiplies like a crazy amount and just stomps the entire board and just leaves like a footprint in the ground. That'd be kind of hype. <clears throat> and 
as at least something like azir has to generate mana i mean i think i really have three is the most op legendary i i, I can't imagine a, 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 a legendary that would beat it right now and i think alternatively i think sets the weakest but i'm not entirely sure terra was similar eh, from set seven yeah Wait, this guy's streaking with a three-star legendary in the board? This guy's such a high roller. This guy just like god he he had the god matchmaking. How 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 is he streaking? <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe he he actually was on fire. Okay. I'm I'm down for this guy to sell everything but I really a three. What do you guys think? Sell everything but I really a three. Come on, man. Don't be insecure about it. Sell everything but the Irelia. Oh, we got Zephyr. We're preserving some HP. Not a lot. I didn't really do anything. He needs to add more units to end the game faster. <laughs> true, man. True, true. <clears throat> He's very thoughtful. Dude, he's about to overtake him in HP because of uh, he keeps healing with five fortune. Lissandra 3 also just deletes the boar, I think. I feel like I really 3 would beat Lissandra 3. I don't know. Okay. Okay, it's just Wukong, and then he's going to go for a Wukong 3 roll down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he printed an item. Nice. That would be really helpful. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I mean, this would be the crazy... Okay, for Wukong. Okay, four Wukongs. Okay, five Wukongs. Nah. But if he had four duplicators... I think it's only fair. I think it's only fair. Can't for, I don't know. This is entirely correct. He went for the one play that was uh, possible for him to win, but it, it was very, very low odds. But this guy just let his really his effort every time. Man, the four duplicator into three star legendary odds. I I gotta admit, I probably would have played for a four four cost three star and went and try to go for the win out. This guy is next level, Chad. Next level, Chad. Next little Chad. Whoa, what's with the saturation of the screen? Also took all of his gold. That's true. That's true. He had to sell. <clears throat> He's in the lead currently as well. 21 points. Two players at 21. One. Oh, the Chuchi is having a terrible day. Seven, seven, eight. <clears throat> this is prismatic. I really three probably beats it. I'm pretty sure I really three is the strongest, and then it goes, and it goes like Lissandra three. Uh, Actually, I've never seen... I don't think I've seen Udyr 3. Uh, uh, Azir 3 is really strong as well. 
but he has to cast. That's the big problem. What does Ujir 3 do? He just jumps around. Udyr revive. Ah, you know, that makes sense. Maybe he wins the 1v1 then. Okay, this guy's not selling his Janna and Diana to make 10, by the way. He's playing. Ooh. AP reroll. One time, enter the dragon. Enter the dragon. Wait, it might be a prismatic start, though. Well, I think it's actually prismatic finale. Dude, my uh my, my my Chinese augment reading skills are not very good. We'll see. A lot of gold openers. Made ten, made eleven. Aatrox two. The gold opener. Mana shield. Oh, that's not the Jana player, never mind. But I, he had a Shojin on the bench. <clears throat> Skips the divine rerolls. He's thinking too much candy. Too much candy. Okay. He love. He. What does he want? What does he want? Yone. No, because he skipped that. He would have had Yone pair. Oh, this is not good. This is bad. He's rolling for fortune. I think he's rolling for fortune. He missed. I think he was rolling for fortune. Because he has a duplicator, so he's thinking, if I get fortune in... Oh, wow. Also, I'm going to get some more water. I'll be right back, you guys. Here Bien 就是这边是天降兵力 这里刚才好像看到温柔斯拉的天龙转，那再这样起就是一个四，他肯定后面会是一个高天龙的通力了，通力掉进去。那其实也非常有实力，因为多天龙能开到四天龙，就比较恶心了。迷人，他另一下的
这种就有点恶心连麦了。就很早，不，哎，我原本能拿到我想要的装备和卡，现在拿不到了，这是别人的眼伤了。是的。You know what I'm down for? I'm down for them to make the I really care so have a second layer. Like like this, I really care so. You know what I'm down for them to do? It has an outer ring of terrible of of the things that you don't really want. And you have to weave your way through. So like you, you you could either get like a like a champion with an item, or you can get like a, like just like literally one gold. <laughs> like if you walk into like a gold coin by accident, you just get one gold. Boom. Now we're gaming. <laughs> it's very BS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think I, it's so it's so maddening. I never get it when I'm like high, high in HP. I always get it every time I'm like first or second pick. It's so annoying. So and it's also like you just need a certain component. You've been waiting for that tier for like a stage and a half, a stage three carousel, and then I really, yeah, boo. Imagine that was Sivir set, right? We should make it first four and then last four. Yeah, I guess. And then you say encounters are good. They can be. They can be. Listen, man. Not all like let augments are good. Not all augments. But augments are good. Prismatics are fun. Not all prismatics, but prismatics are fun. Encounters are good. Not all encounters, but in general, I think encounters are good. Like who doesn't love this one? The Kabuko one. That one's nice. Sometimes it's a fun though. Early size is pretty good, actually. I would play that. Raining gold. It's raining gold. Hallelujah. Not pipe, popping the item, man, though. Interesting. Wants to wait till he sees <clears throat> his items. This is smart. If you know you're one round away, you can save the component because let's say you pop it and you're like, okay, I'll just take like a bow for Giant Slayer or like a sword for GS or sword for um, Deathblade. Then you drop another sword and you're like, well, I should have done that. I would have just gotten a, a sword anyways. You can just wait. He's not on a streak anyway. So he waits, sees if it would be something that he would want to complete anyways. He can pop his anvil instead. Or defensive item for that Rek'Sai, for example. So he just gives him optionality. Wait, you get automatically raffled into a coaching session for a sub. Yeah, that's that's going to be happening Friday. Friday, we're going to be doing the KT Soju Invitational. I'll be giving away some prizes for the boot camp. And also, I'll be raffling out some coaching, uh, sub coaching. Also, Friday, we're going to do my... My 100 player survey. That'll be fun. I'm gonna do it all. We're gonna we're gonna do the event, and then after the event, we're gonna do the the fun slide stuff. The fun little video, if you will. <clears throat> Are you making it to a YouTube video? Yeah. I mean, it'll be like, it'll be like me doing a dramatic. It, it's just like a me doing a presentation on stream, but it'll turn into a video. Yeah. A hundred gold, dude. Kabuko caps out of fifty, man. How chat would it be if he just rolls right now and hits Kabuko three? He has a hundred gold. <clears throat> I'm betting all my channel points on Box Box and Emily. Uh, sure.
，顶到四十第九个后嘛，三十到九嘛。我知道，他要等到三杠六，三杠六他这样这样子出的话，出到三杠六，感觉他就只剩二十点血了。啊，三杠三三。Miss connections, exiles, and best friends. Miss connections for more gold. Find vintage. We have 54 HP. <gasps> he's take. He's gonna do fine vintage at 54 HP. This guy's 111 gold. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! You know what? I don't play DJ enough. That's what I've learned, man. This guy is a total DJ. Like, what is this, man? He's just refusing to play the game. I don't get it. Oni Pan, what are you looking for? Are you looking for TFT Academy? <laughs> Four times the charm. What augment does the 100 gold guy have? He has something called Fine Vintage. <clears throat> After three turns of items being on your bench, they convert into support item anvils. Branching out into four. No, he did not. He did not. He did. He took branching out into. Into a fortune emblem. No. No. He actually did that? What? When he he was angling for fortune at 2 1, takes branching out and gets a fortune. No. How? Okay, now he just, I guess he just needs one more fortune emblem and then he wins the game. Dude. <laughs> Okay. Spatula. Anybody want it? Someone took Triforce. Two fine vintage players. Band of these harmonists, best friends. China is just better. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna queue up some games after the after like one or two more games. I'm gonna queue it up. You guys about to watch me get bodied. I, I'm, I'm gonna try taking branching out and I'm gonna get Behemoth Crest. I'm gonna get Umbral. I'll be like, yo, because remember, someone has to low roll. They're like, well, these guys always just take it. Why, uh, you know, what, I'm, I'm gonna high roll. Right? In the, in the famous words of Setsuko, what about me? And the game is gonna, just gonna stop you right there. And ask, what about you? He's rolling to zero. He went to eight. He went to eight at three five. Exalted. Five fortune. Never mind. Five fortune. Tactician's crown. Off of his fortune cash out. He has nine units on the field. But he's not going to kill a single one. There's a Nico three on the other side. We are tickling the Nico. We've killed zero units. Okay, here comes the support item. No, no, no. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, they're doing the thing. They're doing the thing. They're observing another fight just to see more action. They're going to go back. Stay on the fine vintage player, please. China, your tech is good. Your production is so slick. Your players are cracked. The observing. The observing. Go back. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. No, they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. Three on the fortune. Infinite remover. He doesn't need the gold. Wait, no, this is the wrong guy. It's the wrong guy. Wait, go back. Go back. Okay, we, I mean, we missed half his turn. It's all good. It's all good. He already popped all three items and rolled most of his gold. Dude, he has Kaisa and two Galios. We are so broke, we can't even feel nine units. <clears throat> Three, 
This is terrible. There's no there there is no star of our team. <laughs> we are playing three exalted, five heavenly, all one stars. <laughs> this is like the New York Jets of TFT teams right now. Oh my god, what is this? This is looking awful. Wait a second. Hey, I guess uh I guess it's good enough. Hey, you know what? The Jets have to win sometimes. Orn two? That's what I'm talking about. Do people generally favor heavenly vintage over duelers vintage? Heavenly vintage plays for a higher cap because you get infinite support M, so you can get like the scaling Zizi rot stuff. But a lot of times, people just play he heavenly vintage and just like whatever they can hit. Um. <clears throat> Even Shroud. We transition. We have five heavenly, three exalted. The board, the board is actually almost good. We have a Hui. Board is almost good. Silas two, Galio two. Now the Broncos have no... That is true. My wife is unfortunately a Broncos fan. It could be worse. They paid Russell Wilson to leave them alone. I mean, I live in Seattle, so I, I, I hang out with a lot of Seahawks fans. <clears throat> so we're, 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 like, we're like directly connected to that situation. My wife is from Colorado. She's a big Avalanche and Broncos fan. We live in Seattle. We get to experience the whole thing up close. Keepers. Wow. That's actually one of the best augments we could have possibly hit. That's huge, huge. Fortune Crest. Fortune Crest. Is it even possible in 4 2? I think it is. Triple roll. Cybernetic uplink. Oh, uh, I don't think I had the portal correct. Sorry. I uh, I thought it was prismatic something, but I, I misread it. I, I'm just going to wipe it. It could be it could be anything. What if it's just like pot of gold or something like that? Who, who knows? Okay, we're playing Kaisa Fortune 54, 54 cash out. She just had 25. Is he cashing out 73? Ooh, 73 is just below the cutoff. You want 75. You want 75. I live in Europe. None of these terms mean anything to me. Uh, I don't know enough about uh football european football to know two duplicate three duplicators oh wait run it back run it back all right he's not going three star legendary he's going for a three star four cost unless no, he's going for three star four cost he's not gonna even hit kaisa two dude dude you're gonna die you're gonna die he duped he duped he duped he duped Okay. <clears throat> his his, his front line is one star. He's playing he's playing one star Riven tank. He he still might die. He still might die. You, you guys should watch that fight. You guys should watch that fight. He still might die. He still might die. Okay, it's, it's a ghost fight. He's probably not gonna die. But his front his front line is all one star. He won. He won. Never mind. Super one sided. Find vintage and two. Did he shred by any chance? Takes it. Yeah, he does. Playing fine vintage Yone. Wukong. 
For the Yone player, that is. Not going for three-star legendary is cowardice. Oh, they did it last game. You missed it. Last game, they actually went for the three-star legendary and they actually hit. Okay, if you're European, uh, if you're if you live in Europe and you don't understand American football, the other, the thing that I, I I know most that probably Europeans like is Formula One. That whole team was basically like like Haas. <laughs> Just dead last, terrible. And ha ha Haas under Gunther Steiner. Actually, like, kind of okay this season. Whoa! We reforged that into an ink shot. What? This guy's a beast. This guy's just a beast. He plays branching out into fortune and then reforges the fortune into an ink shadow. I don't get it. This guy is something else. All right, well, the thing is, he's at one life. He, his board is really good. All he has to do is run into one high roller, though. One Yone 3, that snipes his Kaisa, and uh, he's dead. So that, that's the big problem. He 10 life is just on that cusp where, like, if you lose a single, if you lose by a single unit in stage 6, you're just dead. Actually, I think if you lose by two un one unit in stage five, you're technically alive. I think it's seven base damage, so you can lose by one. They're changing base damage, by the way, to make calculations much easier. <clears throat> Speaking of F1, it's interesting how big it's gotten in the West the last two years. Yeah, my wife got me into Formula One. She started following it before she met me. And so she introduced it to me, and then we started watching it. Uh... I was never really into F1 or anything like that. Um, probably just because it was just so, just so hard to watch races when I was younger. But my wife got really into it and, and when she was in her 20s. And then she met me. And then we watched a bunch of races. So. Why is Red Bull so good? It's because they nailed the regulations. They nailed the regulations. They uh, basically... It's kind of like... It's kind of like a giant card game tournament where like you get to prepare your decks beforehand. And so it's like, a, it's like you're playing Magic the Gathering, you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! You have your decks. And then once you enter like the season, you can't, you can, you can, you can do minor updates to your deck, but in the end, you're, in the end you're still playing the same deck that you brought to the tournament. Uh, and so you can optimize the performance of what you have or what you think is good. You're like side decking, right? But ultimately, you're still at the mercy of whatever deck you brought. And Red Bull just brought the best deck in the game. And they have, they also have Max Verstappen, who's uh, extremely good at driving. Hyper consistent. Mirror match. Ink Shadow on Galio is actually kind of okay for the damage reduction as well. You get a little bit of bonus damage reduction and damage as well for the Ink Shadow emblem, whoever's holding it. That's partially why it's so good. And then can we go 7 Ink Shadow at... Oh! Oh no, we win, we win, we win, we win. We have it with your 2. <clears throat> if you and see the 3 body problem yet? Not yet, not yet, not yet. We're still in the middle of uh, watching through Physical 100. After we're done with watching Physical 100, we have to get through the last episodes of Free Run. Oh, the Teemo Prediction fight. And then after that, we're probably going to watch the three body problem. Rolling. Oh, Leeson 3? Nah. No way on Leeson 3 on 7. Why do we even make that? Why do we even make that? Bard! I haven't seen Bard in a long time. Is, any is anyone still playing Bard here? You know what, maybe I should try a Bard game. I haven't tried Bard in so long. I just feel like the meta is not good for him. How is Physical 100? It's like really inspiring if you like fitness shows. It's just like... You, you just feel motivated to work out. There are some physical specimens. 
Also, the women kick ass in that show, too. They tend to be really badass. Also, there's something nice about the respectfulness of Korean culture, even though they're like, even though they're trying to like beat each other, they're not like very, you know, you, you know how like American TV or reality TV tends to be like a bunch of shit flinging, a lot of drama and like, they, they, they try to, they, they try to be a little, a lot of like toxic masculinity. I feel like, uh, I feel like Koreans, at least the way they're presenting it is way more respectful. The fortune player died. He went. He, he went seventh. Chi went seventh. Really? And we didn't even see that. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun. Oh, it's it's the build. AP duos. Diana three, Zoe, Zyra, Nico. Dragon Lord emblem. Best friends one and two. Oh my god and zoe cast can't kill tom catch it's actually so close it's actually so close one cast off speaking of working out today was leg day now i'm here stuck watching phone because i actually can't get up <laughs> you need me to call 911 Three Morellos and a Sunfire. Okay. Does anybody need anti <laughs> All anti heal items. Bard wins that. Bard, if Zoe can't kill and burst past an unkillable tank, she struggles a little bit because she scales off how many she, she, she can kill. Oh, is this Radiant Blessing? Oh, is that why I misunderstood? Is that why I misunderstood? I thought Radiant was prismatic in Chinese, but it might be it might be Radiant instead. Yeah, and everyone gets a fawn. I think that's what it is. I think everyone has a fawn from Radiant Blessing. UK Gordon Ramsay is a lot different from US Ramsay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I like I like US Gordon Ramsay. I'm kind of a sucker for the Gordon Ramsay content. Oh my God, we lost that? Kindred, baby. Next patch updates are on tactics.tools. I mean, do you want me to read it or do you, I mean, I feel like I should just wait for the patch notes rundown because they might change. It might change. Hopefully, Kaisa gets the boot. I disagree. I actually, I just want more things to be at Kaisa's level. I just want more things to be at Kaisa's level. I don't want four costs to be balanced, thrashy. It's just, it's just, just more things at Kaisa's level. It's fine. Because then it would suck if you if you you can play Ash, but you miss Ash. Guess what? You just you you can't play Kaisa because she sucks. That would that would be lame. Like you just that's that's part of what makes it difficult. If you miss on Kaisa, what do you play? Go back in time and wish that you you played for duelists. Like what? What do you play if you miss on Kaisa right now? Make Lee Sin stronger. Buff duelists agreed. Buff duelists. We need something to counter Yone and Volibear. I mean, Kaisa already does. I would like the game to slow down a little bit. I would like the game to slow down. They're just rushing, you know. There's like, you just, you just, you just, you look over at four one, and people have three star Aphelios and three star Yone because the encounter gave them like three dupes, and they have a bunch of extra golden items. Slow down. Slow down. Where's the foreplay, man? Just slow down. Scott here. Mm. 
So we're trying to... Oh, I see. So we're trying to get Eternal Winter onto a tank that we know that needs it for the fight. So he's trying to use the Golden Remover to optimize. <clears throat> Ouch. All the four and five costs are getting a HP buff. Okay, that's good. That's good. They're doing a massive balance. Who, who's in, who's uh who's taking lead of balance this uh is it the GAT team? Iniko said he's not working on set 11 right now, which made it really interesting. I was like, well, then if you're not working on set 11, who is? Who is? Okay, so they buffed the HP of all four and five cards. They're buffing Kaisa. But that's like fine because in principle, it's like... They can get her numbers into a better spot and uh, make sure that baseline level, she's in a good spot. You can get behind it. Irelia doesn't get the HP buff. That's okay. Irelia has been really good this set. <clears throat> Nerfing fine vintage again. They should just make it a prismatic augment. I don't know why it's a silver. They they should just they they should re. They should keep it how it is and then just move it to like prismatic or something. Like that. It's too unique to be a silver op. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Although I guess like other things like recombob are as well, which is pretty unique. He printed an item and made it before the round end. Support item for the Vine Vintage player. Heavenly emblem. <laughs> Like, I can get a third Quicksilver. <laughs> it's the Powerpuff Girls Comp. I've been playing that since the set started. Yeah, I actually... That's, that's the subject of my next YouTube video. I can show you a little preview of it if you'd like. But uh, basically, I talk about AP reroll, and you play around these core units. Zyra, Janna, Zoe, Soraka, and I go over item builds. This is, this is what I'm talking about in my next video. So it's a it's a pretty good comp. The issue is that you kind of need to you can't just play it every game, or at least if you do, you're not going to be as consistent at high elo. <clears throat> I tried to play like five games of it today and I went like six, four, two, six, eight or something like that. No, that eight was like the Yone game. I played four games. Well, Yone three, baby. Yone three. What does it need to work? It needs uh, specific augments. You need, to ha you need to hit on time. You need a lot of econ. Um, I'm starting to think that econ matters a lot more than combat augments. But that's a little bit late now. I record the video, so it is what it is. Eighth with Yone. Yeah, I had Yone pair in stage two, and I ended on Yone one. I think I, I think I think I told the story. I, I had Yone pair at stage two, early stage two. And I was like, oh, and I gargantuan resolve and everything good to go. And then uh and then I just ended the game on Yone one. Didn't find another Yone for the rest of the game. Okay. I believe this is the last game of the group, and then uh, we'll play some video games. And then they, they have another set of games tomorrow, so we'll watch more games tomorrow. Sounds like RG. Yeah, those kinds of games, like it's like it's like 
I get I get a spike of tilt, but it goes away faster because like what are you gonna do? You can't really do anything about that. Like if you just if you literally roll like like the equivalent of like 120 gold throughout the game, and you can't find another another donate after two dropped out of a box. Like it is what it is. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> so you can't you can't get too upset about that. I'd rather low roll that way than go fast nine and die. Really, I feel like I'd rather go fast nine and and and, and at least I feel like I played the long game. But yeah. Okay, this is last game of the day. Last game of the day. I feel like for it to be good, you need at least Zoe three and Diana three. You want you want Diana three and then like a three star primary carry fast, basically like early stage four. Um, I think another thing I'm not doing is I'm not all inning fast enough. But yeah. Jordan, how are you doing? How's it going, buddy? How goes it? Garen too. Wait, what? Garen died. Did you guys see that? Look, 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 look. Garen just combined. And then one Garen died. <laughs> What's going on here? <clears throat> the CN tournament is going smoother than the NA one did. Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. Magic Wand, Three's Company, Jeweled Lotus. He's thinking about playing Jeweled early. Jeweled is a lot weaker early than it is later. Three's Company. Zoe. We have Fortune. What is this shop? Three cost, three cost, three cost. Wow. Sunfire. Redemption Edge of Oh, it's Savage Ben. I was like, what what a weird set of slams. Just playing around Darius too and just getting items on him. Has anyone played Darius three, by the way? Darius three re three reroll? You play him in Heavenly. You basically play him as if he's Yone, but instead of going for uh, Titans Hodge, you go for JG Hodge. And you also want to play it on a specific Exalted, where Darius and I think Malphite are Exalted. I've seen it's pretty strong. I, I haven't seen it. Duelist, Extended Duel? Okay. Only with build a bud. I can see that. <clears throat> I've had a game where this guy went bud and got Darius three and three on him, and he actually was clapping the lobby. I mean, if you can get if you get it early, you basically get like a free you get a free stage two. You should have a mostly sta free stage three. Stage four is when he starts to struggle. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he late later on he dies for sure. <laughs> Caitlyn three with build a bud. I mean, you could you could probably play Caitlyn into uh, maybe Kogma. You got Caitlyn Clark on your side. How can it go wrong? Red Kale to open things up. Okay, that usually indicates Kaisa. Usually red kale, red kale is Kaisa, blue kale is like AP reroll. Some people are still playing green. I haven't really picked green that often this patch, but I should I should probably try. Ooh, Senanar? 
Senna Nar. Too healthy. Nope. Kindred Nar, maybe? I mean, it's open-ended. We have a sword open right now. Wild thinking Senna, but we could go BT. <clears throat> Green feels weak now. It does, it does. That's what I was saying. Like, I haven't picked it this patch. I've seen people pick it, and it just feels like my frontline lives a lot longer against the... It's probably it's probably more pickable than I'm giving it credit for. In fact, it's probably better than red in a lot of scenarios, but I just haven't picked it. Spatula? On a Tristana? You can play for fortune. Wow. The point differential. Wow. It's almost like the top four is like determined. 27, 24, 24, 22. So like the fifth place player has to go first. And the fourth place player has to go seventh. That's the only way you can advance from the group if you top four. <laughs> oh, geez. That is, that's, so this, this last game almost doesn't feel like it matters. Wait, actually, they might not be... Oh, they might not actually be doing top four. Oh, okay. Usually the way... Usually the way China does it is um, top two advances and then third to sixth play the loser's bracket. So it's it's basically these players playing for top two. So there's three players in contestant <clears throat> So you So what they do is top two advances to the next... Advances to the semifinals. And then third through sixth... Uh, get put into a loser's bracket and then they play against another group's third through sixth and as an eight-player lobby. So that's, that's usually how it's done. I kind of like the idea of a loser's of a loser's group in TFT. I mean, I, I like the way China does it because the way China does it, you got you kind of follow a player storyline a lot easier, like just one lobby. I understand the appeal of jumping from lobby to lobby because it's like a really large or rather just having a large field. So it feels like a lot's going on. Following a, a storyline, though, for like one lobby makes it a lot better. Because then you could watch today's group matches to like for a specific player and you're like, OK, like. I, I know exactly who when where to tune in and who to tune in for. I lose this group finally we're somewhere I belong. Nah, you're good. You're good. Okay, so is this going to be Ghostly Senna? King Shadow Senna? Nar Senna? Shojin Morello Ari. Okay, open ended. Leaning towards AP though. One build that I think is underrated is Arcanist. Uh we yet we yet, we haven't, we haven't seen any of that though today. No Lux 3 at all from China. A lot of Kaisa, a lot of Yone, some Duelists, some Senna, uh, a couple Kindred, some Faded. Even, uh, even AP, like AP reroll. A lot of fortune. No, no, uh, no Arcanist. So we did see Namumu three, but that wasn't faded. Oh, what up, DXN? You love playing Arcanists? What's the tech? What's the tech? Arcanist spat on a Moo Moo is the tech. Oh, I I mean, I like that. I like that. I played a game today where I had three porcelain emblems and two Arcanist emblems. And I and all I need to do was find a Lowy. If I found one Alawi, I would have eight Arcanist. Six porcelain. If I found one Alawi, I had eight Arcanists, six porcelain. I couldn't find one Alawi. I was so sad. I didn't, you can't find, yeah, I couldn't find it. 
I mean, I still top four. There's just that, like, I'm pretty sure if I got that, I would have won the game. I pretty, I, I, I probably would have won the game if I did. I was so sad. I was like, oh, like I, I think I got like a fourth. So instead, I had to play seven Arcanist Nautilus two. Which I mean, you tell me if you. <laughs> what do you think is better, eight Arcanists? Uh, or or seven arcanists that nautilus two sag i'm i was very sad you know what i probably should just sold the nautilus two and rolled for the allowing allows in every copy yeah the ghostly player uh had allowee three and other, i think there was another player that had like allowee two it, it made sense why i didn't hit i was just sad you know all i needed was just one allowing one allow we branching out no this guy's playing heavenly he's not playing fortune <clears throat> in case you didn't know uh branching out in china is, uh gives you a fortune crust recon bob he says duelists healing arms is probably the best for duelists here it just makes the most sense for your tempo so like you can kill and get your hp back oh my god full bear two and one roll how do they do it bless you i mean free shojin Merle on the gold augment is kind of strong Sure. I don't mind free Shojin Morello. I do like, okay, I, I do like that for the most part. It doesn't like, at least they, I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll talk about the silver linings on things. It does feel like, uh, it does feel like the items aren't the problem right now. So Shojin Morello is still pretty open ended. You can play like a lot of things with that. That's nice. At least we got that going for us. This guy did recombob. He had a Wukong. Okay, but is this spot? E okay, you know, not not to not to borrow another TFTisms, but is this is this even good? Okay, he hit the Wukong, which is really good, but like I feel like he's gonna lose a lot of fights. Hmm. Boiling point. Dude, if I got boiling point and I hit and I hit three porcelain bombs, it would have been over. Oh man. It was a triple contested porcelain lobby too. It's, it's not even like like other other porcelain players even top four, so. Oh rolling for days is my favorite three two silver. Uh, yeah. I mean, you right now, your tempo needs to be really good because you, if someone hits Yone 2, you're not winning anything, right? If someone hits uh, Thresh 2, you're not killing single unit on faded boards. In general, you just need to be, like, higher tempo. It's a high... HP is a really big deal right now. Especially if you have Fortune, because Fortune goes the opposite direction. They're giving up HP, so they can just hit you really hard later. So, yeah, you just need to make sure preserve your HP. Ooh, three cost bow made it to the last pick. Wow, everything. Everything is so expensive. Five fortune. Salvage. Oh, salvage bin fortune. Late game specialist. Well, this guy is rich. No HP though. Diamond hands for sniper's focus. Sniper's focus because he has no backline items right now. Shojin Sniper's Focus. So there's a possibility of playing around Kaisa. I think it's probably fine. Shojin's not the best item on Kaisa, but it's 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 an acceptable item. <clears throat> it's not uh it's like slightly positive delta. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I watched some Hearthstone videos with Frodan in it when nostalgia hits. Oh, just wait. I actually uh I actually have a Hearthstone video coming out. That might seem like it's completely out of the blue, but uh, 
uh blizzard is doing a hearthstone battlegrounds duos mode it basically double up is releasing in hearthstone battlegrounds and they uh, invited me to be part of the event so and i actually do play a lot of hearthstone battlegrounds so I, i'm just i just suck at the game <laughs> me and my wife do like uh every other night or something like that So it's it's really it's really fun actually. The duos mode, you basically share one HP total, uh, and then and then you like pa you basically pass cards back and forth for one gold. And so you can do some really fun strategies. I played it I played it with Tice. If you guys are if you guys know Tice, the European champion from Hearthstone Constructed, he was my partner. They paired us against actual good battlegrounds players. They 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 part they 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 had us compete against like tournament winners and battlegrounds stuff like that and it's like a TFT a TFT backseater and a and a constructed guy I'm like what what is this who balanced the teams uh, uh whatever it's fine <laughs> it's okay I'm 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 hard stuck six k MMR which apparently is what Crip is so it's like that's that's not that bad but Crip is fake six k because he actually just. He actually just surrenders until he gets a good build <laughs> so he can farm tubers. It's, it's kind of like if uh, if someone like went to master zero LP so that they could farm like tubers, something like that. They just kept conceding it at zero LP. So yeah, that, that's basically, I, I, that's not even true though. I, I, like 6k LP is more like diamond four zero LP. Probably. No, it might it might be Emerald Four. I suck at that game. Don't worry. Anyway, it's a video that comes out. It's really fun. Uh, and also, I feel better about Blizzard now that like it's kind of the same thing as Day Nine. Now that like Bobby Kotick left and all that stuff, and and, the, and Blizzard is trying to change. It it feels a lot easier to try to like work with them now. How difficult is it to hit Masters in TFT? Uh. Oh yeah, so that video is coming out like in a couple days. Um, how hard is it to hit Masters in TFT? It depends on your background and auto battlers and strategy games in slot machines. <clears throat> oh wait, we bought. Oh, we're going for Kaiser. We're going for Kaiser. I was like, we bought a, a bar too, because we're going for the four trick shot. Should I try Hearthstone Battlegrounds? I haven't tried it since the first week of release and thought it was okay. -ish. I think I think the one thing that Battlegrounds does better than TFT by like a lot is the mobile experience. I'm pretty sure uh, that is one thing that Battlegrounds has like triumphed incredibly in terms of the auto battler genre. TFT as a mobile game is just so hard for me to get into, but the mobile experience of Battlegrounds is really nice. Well, TFT is not that bad. Oh, okay. Well, you think Blizzard is getting better, but didn't Microsoft fire a ton of staff? Well, I mean, that's that's not their fault. You think it's the fault of people who got fired? I mean, maybe some of them, but not 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 a lot of them. Ooh, Arcanist plus one. Ho ho! Arcanist on Amumu. Oh, we mispositioned a little bit with that bar, but we didn't get punished. We didn't get punished. Okay, I just said we didn't see many Arcanists in China, and now we're going to see Arcanists. It's because Hearthstone was always built for mobile. That's fair. That's fair. I, listen, I'm just telling you that I, that's one thing that I really like about uh, Battlegrounds. I play it on mobile every night, like every other night with my wife. Anyways, the duo is most fun. The video, I think, is pretty funny. Uh, okay, you know what's the funny thing about Hearthstone is that they. They are so nice to each other that me, Froden, I'm considered like a guy that trash talks as much as like Soju. <laughs> like I'm not, I don't, I don't call people bad or whatever like that, but like apparently I'm like more of an instigator compared to them because they're all just so nice to each other. They're also like wholesome and like, oh yeah, everything's great. Da -da -da. Like, you know, like the most offensive thing you could say to somebody is like, is like say that they're salty and then the most like egregious thing you could do is emote somebody that's like what they do in the game it's very tame meanwhile on tft they just straight up call you bad or they flame your home country or uh or they just they, or they just like don't even give you the time of day they just don't know all you <clears throat> yeah 
Death Cap and Death Blade. Battleground streams are states. Yeah, they're so nice, man. I go. I ba basically what happened. It's, this is not pretty going to be in the video, but the first like 30, 45 minutes, there were tech issues because they were giving us a unreleased client of the new game mode, and so we were play testing, and there's some issues. So I just joined people's calls and just tried to like stoke the flames a little bit. I'd be like, "Oh, we, we're restarting the game because we're so far ahead, right? Like, oh, what do you what do you guys have to do to win?" And they're like, "No." You know, you're good. It's okay. I'll be like, yeah, you guys need the you know, good luck. You guys gonna need it, whatever. Just like do some really basic like poking the fire. I'm like, okay, thank you. We're gonna need the luck. It's just, it's so, they're so nice, man. <laughs> they're so wholesome. Oh god. <laughs> it's like you guys are going dead last, and they're like, yeah, no, it's probably not gonna happen. But you know, if we play well, maybe you know, maybe may, try our best. Good luck to you too. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I'm out. <laughs> Six duelists, three dragon lord. Drama farm. I'm not drama farming. I mean, if anything, it's like it's like the lowest stakes possible trash talk. We're going to beat you. That's not even that's not even trash talk. That's just talking. There's no trash. It's like it's like Singapore streets. It's just straight, straight up clean, no littering. In case people don't know, we're still playing for the top two spots here for uh, advancing in the group. Double death play, Tristana. Volibear three has this. Huya Cup reinforced the tiers on TFT Academy. It has. It has. Uh, Fine Vintage still might be S tier, but they play Fine Vintage in a lot of different comps, which we knew already. The difficulty of doing something like Fine Vintage on TFT Academy is that there's two ways you can approach it. One, you can take Fine Vintage and then try to play a comp. Oh, this guy has Yasuo 3, by the way. Really interesting. You can take like Fine Vintage and be like, I want to build Heavenly around it or Story Weaver around it. But then there's other people who just say, I'm going to take Fine Vintage and play it in the comp that I'm doing already. So I'm going to play Fine Vintage in Yone. I'm going to play Fine Vintage in Duelist. Um, and so that's it's kind of difficult because then we have to create four different, five different variants of Fine Vintage. So it's like, and that just clutters up the entire screen. Plus, I think a lot of people aren't actually that interested in, like there are some of you here, especially the most engaged people. They'd be interested in learning all those kinds of variants, but a lot of you wouldn't be. This Volibear is not dying. Oh my god, he just actually went infinite. <laughs> Crown Guard, Stone Plate, Hodge. Healing Orbs. Damn. Is this Biss Volibear? I mean, these these items aren't that... Crown Guard's not a bad item on Volibear. How can Crown Guard, Guard, Guard be a bad item? Looks alright. Don't play it as like whatever, but it's not bad. When did the term bis become a thing? Isn't it a term from like World of Warcraft or something like that? EverQuest? Oh god, that's like older than Wait, how old is EverQuest? That's from like the nineties, wasn't it? Or early two thousands? That was like before I started gaming. That's like uh that's like Mort Dog old. Not that Mort Dog is old, but like I'm just trying to I'm trying to I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys a, a sense of time period. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mort. No, I'm just trying to I'm trying to give a, a, a sense of it. Like <laughs> it was like probably the game Mort played when he was a teenager. Uh Hey, screw you. I remember playing EverQuest. I, I never even... I, I didn't play it because I was too young for it. Mort, you need to grief his RNG. He already has. Don't you worry about it. If you need proof, I'll, I'll queue up right after this and you guys will see. Okay, we still have a spatula open. He's at 10 HP. Wait, isn't this one of these players who's currently in top three? If he goes eighth, he's actually going to fall out. What do you do with the spatula? 
Story Weaver is what you usually make. Late game specialist. We're rolling. Tattoo of bombardment. Ooh. Okay. That's really big. That's really, really big. Okay, okay. No no story weaver. Item for Udir. Oh, we don't have anti-heal. Red buff. No way we do have anti-heal. Oh, is red buff actually that much better on Udir? Oh, he has tattoo of bombardment, so maybe he wants the attack speed. Isn't Rageblade actually really good on Udir? I remember reading on the stats one time that Rageblade is really good on Udir. Actually, let me check that real quick. Let me look. Udir. Uh, Rageblade. Oh, it, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not. I mean, it's, it's probably one of those things where it's just like, there's just a lot of good items on him. Never mind. It, it, it's, it's mid. It's mid. <clears throat> Wait, he won that? How did he win? Oh, the Sivir? My god. That was clutch. I thought he lost. I looked away. That's crazy. Listen to some hype Chinese casting. Chinese casting goes, Wow, ma. Heavenly Irelia. Lila. Yeah, they do that. They do. They always say Lila. Means it has arrived. Senna three. Oh my God! Kane's on the back line. That is dead. Wow. Why do you keep writing on XDD? Is it an emote or something? <laughs> it's it's it takes too long to explain. Basically, un XDD is a variant of XDD, which is a a way for people to express. It's like basically typing LOL, and it creates like this uh, it's like rat emote, right? XDD is this, like it's laughing, like LOL, and then un XDD is like, I don't know. There's, there's just a lot of variants of this like little rat thing. I don't, I don't, what even is it? Is it Yoda? Pretty sure it's a cat. Is it a cat? Arcanist the Mumu. Arcanist Amumu. Boiling points. Look at all that AP. Look at all that AP. Oh, Lux 3? She has too much. She's on the wrong side. She's on the wrong side. Dude, this is Amumu. Oh my god. It's going infinite. It's going infinite. It's going infinite. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. We won this fight. That's crazy. Rageblade is, by the way, kind of good on Lux because the por the porcelain gives her more attack speed. One augment that's surprisingly not bad in the setup is uh, Boiling Point. Not so. Uh, blinding Speed. Boiling Point? It's like the best augment in the, in the setup. By blinding Speed. We get Rageblade Red Buff. Actually, kind of good. It's like a cat with its ears pulled back. Really? Oh. What is this? Wide time. Arcanist the Mumu, it's so good. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. In fact, uh, if I recall correctly, it is what we recommended. In TFT Academy, way ahead of you, buddy. Way ahead of you. In fact, I would like to say that we're, uh, I, you know, I, I would like to say that Distal didn't even know that. You know what was the nicest thing Distal ever said to me? 
he said that he actually sometimes learns about comps through me updating tft academy i was like oh that's that's one of the nicest things you, i've ever heard you say about me <clears throat> It's only like two. It's only like two comps, though. Let's not. <laughs> let's not get carried away. It's not like Frodian taught dish up everything. That's not what I said. Tom catch fish eating. Basically, he didn't know that Twin Terror Lux was a thing. A lot. This is at the beginning. Of the day. He didn't know Twin Terror Lux was a thing, and I kept telling him that I think Arcanus is a thing. So those are two things. Oh, also Zoe. He didn't. He didn't know if Zoe was real. Actually, I thought. You know what? I. I I'm. I'll say it's. I taught her, I thought I taught dish up everything he knows. <laughs> I take like five percent of his LP credit. I'm still not challenger, but I'm kind of there. He doesn't believe in yeah, but he didn't know it was a thing. Or like how to approach it. It's like regardless of it, he just like it's stuff that wasn't on his radar. Does Disop help update the tier list? Uh, he does. He does things in like big fell swoops. Like he'll re he'll he'll spend like one afternoon to rearrange a bunch of things, and then I do a lot of like the day to day updates. If it's like, oh, you know, we're no longer prioritizing. Uh, Stone played as much uh, because Bramble is a little bit better because there's so much AD in the meta, stuff like that. It, but people say I'm still saying Stone play. So I'll be like, instead of like going for these items, you're, you're going to go for this. Oh, Janna is no longer double Rage Blade. Uh, Archangels is like Rage Blade Shoji. Like that kind of stuff. I, I, I do that. I update Augments. I update all those, those small little things. Because the, the thing is, as the meta moves, we keep updating all these different parts of comps and things get outdated over time. You taught him all the AP lines that no one goes. Boom. Boom. I'm, I'm also uh, the one that has to test it. Who do you think? Okay, who do you think played Ghostly Kindred and spam that to understand where it was on the tier list? Disco played one game of it and went eighth and said, I'm never touching that shit again. <laughs> so it's got it's up to me you guys it's up to me i, ha I have to be the one that plays it <laughs> it's too it's too high stakes for Disso, man he can't just go he, he played one game of ghostly kindred and, and he was just like this shit is fraudulent <laughs> like i'm never doing that again and then uh so it's like it's, it's up to me i have to be the one that tests it <laughs> uh. Arcanist Amumu 3. This is very real, though. I think this comp could probably get top two. This, this top matchup is kind of tough, though. Ghostly can be hard, depending on how fast your frontline cracks. But we do have a Amumu 3 with Arcanist Emblem. Oh, never mind. Beastly. Yo. Anyways, uh, the, the, if you get Alawi 3... Okay, I'm gonna go on another limb. This comp can win out. It can win out. It depends on if this person is sloppy with uh, Irelia, like if it gets sniped. Uh, Volibear and Tristana could theoretically get stuck on the Amumu. The damage reduction on Amumu and the healing is so good. So, so, so good. Did you position Lux correctly? Yeah, I mean, it's also like, did you position around Lux? And also, are you able to deal with Amumu? There's, there's a couple different things. Also, another question is if they hit Lissandra and are dealing with your unit. If they hit Lissandra and they like Lissandra, the if they pot the Vola Bear, you're 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 like a, you're like kind of in trouble as a duelist player. I really in the middle, dude. This Amumu just does not die. Oh, but the Lux died. Oh God, that 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 hurts. That Wu Kong. Wow, that just won him the game. Oh my god, that sucks. Oh man. 
嘛后台给投了。Heavenly Warriors. This is cool. This is um a no Yone four cost variant of uh, of Heavenly, which I think the coolest way to play Heavenly. I think if if what what I'll be sad if they do to Heavenly is that they nerf it and then you can't play Heavenly Flex, which I think is a really cool play style. Because then you just basically assemble the Heavenly units and you tech around like whatever you're getting. I would love it if that exact style still existed, but. It wasn't like dependent on your name. Okay, looks like do eight duelist wins this, and that should be it, right? Another heavenly emblem. That's really good for the duelist player, actually. Really, really good. And it's an Irelia. Jeez. Dude, the porcelain player would have got a, a porcelain emblem. Irelia 2. He has Yasuo 3 itemized, by the way. Kind of cool. Both players have Irelia. Arcanist go third? Yeah, Arcanist went third. G2 trying to fight for some redemption. Yeah, where is our front line? Our front line is our front line is Malphite 2 with an Arcanist crest. That's not That's not good. Okay, we have the Lissandra in front of the Volibear though. That's good. Potted. And toss him. And we're not doing anything. And we're dead. One more fight. I really like that the duelist player held seven dares the whole time. Yeah, he tried to go for Yasuo 3 and Darius 3. I can't read Chinese. How can I know what those units are? I mean, these units are... There's no Chinese characters. This is Tristana. She has a cannon. This is Irelia. She has a Bankai. This is Wukong. He has a staff. This is Vola Bear. He has NFL gear, shoulder pads, and stuff. Sixty gold, no roll. I'm pretty sure he, he's just giving up. He's like soft surrendering right now. <clears throat> I mean. Eight duelist is really hard to deal with, and he has a heavenly emblem. Yeah, GG's. Extended duel duelists. Maybe Kane three. Ah, that's true. Actually, you could have rolled for a three star four cost. Could have. Okay, so that's it for Group C. For Group C. And then basically after this was group D, but uh, we don't have to watch all of group D. We don't have to watch all of group D. Uh, they're going to play the loser's bracket tomorrow or actually tonight. They're going to play in like seven, eight hours and then we'll watch it tomorrow as well. At Frodan, look at this Yone. Okay. I'll look at this Yone. I'll queue it up and then look at this Yone real quick. Something Wait, I can't have Setsuko playing in the background. What? Wait. What? How did he do that? So he kills and he casts and he just goes straight to the Kaisa? What the heck? What is that? That is insane. All right, whatever. Not sus at all. It was a little sus. It was a little sus. I had no idea what was that. That's crazy. All right, we're going to queue up some games. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. 
I do think that China plays uh, pretty straight forward according to the meta, but I do want to try a little bit more of things like the Arcanist and AP stuff.